Hello, everybody. How you doing? Welcome to uh, Salt Marsh Legends. We're back again for another week. Um, definitely excited to get right into this uh, this week. Uh, just real quickly, want to uh, run through uh, the sponsors. Thanks uh, again to Limithron. Uh, I just talked to him today, and he's working up a little uh, surprise for us. So I'm super excited about that. Can't wait to uh, get started with that stuff with. Uh, with him, uh, please go over to uh, Patreon and just search in uh, Limithron on there and you'll be able to find some really awesome uh, map assets, uh, tokens, things like that. Definitely go check it out. Uh, other than that, I don't think I really have uh, too many announcements at this time. We've got some stuff going on behind the scenes, so please go to uh, Discord, join the, uh, the adventure over there and uh, see what's going on. We uh, are going to start uh, doing some uh, West March campaigns here real soon that's going to be a community campaign so definitely go ahead and hop into the server over there to check that stuff out and uh, i'm excited to get going on that got a couple of uh, heads behind the scene and they're just really uh knuckling down and putting in a lot of work into uh, getting that ready uh, to go as soon as possible so i'm excited to see see that develop um other than that we just got uh, kind of some cool stuff make sure you go on over to youtube and subscribe and follow and all that kind of stuff over there Definitely uh, helps with all the numbers and all that kind of stuff behind the scenes. Definitely appreciate it. Um, besides that, I think it is time to go ahead and jump on over and get into this game. I am excited to be a little mouse man again. So let me switch us on over. And here we go. And this is our GM for the evening, Mr. Connor. Go ahead and take it away, sir. Hey everyone, welcome back to Salt Marsh, episode three, I believe. We're in four. Yeah. Four already. Dang, that's why I asked, because I, I was wrong. <laughs> already at four. Well, welcome everyone. As he said, my name is Connor. I am the GM for this campaign. I'm surrounded by my amazing players. Let's just, just go around and introduce your real selves. We'll get into your uh, player characters in very shortly. Guess I'm next. Hi. I'm the big Quinn on our Discord server, otherwise known as Quinn. I play Amaros Chuckler, our uh, Satar monk. It's true. I guess I will go next uh, as I kind of look like I'm next there. Um, I'm Indigo. I'm the, uh, the the guy. I'm the wizard behind the curtain. Uh, it's not a whole lot of wizardry. It's mostly me going, ah! <laughs> But, you know, it's awesome. It's fun. And we're making cool stuff happen. So um, I play Monterey Jack, and he is a little mouse man that has big aspirations of becoming a, a captain of the seas one day. And we'll see how that all plays out as we go, because he's not the quickest on the uptake. But, you know, he's fine. Go ahead. Miss Maya? Who's that over Actually, there? Actually, you're... Yeah. I'm... Gibbs or Ashley. I play Maya, the Triton uh, sorcerer, and she um, um, <laughs> she doesn't really know what she's doing right now. You're she's watching over a little girl. Out she's, yeah, I'm watching over a little child that uh, she found. Protecting her from He's the rest of us. Now. <laughs> yeah, I'm a mom now. Suddenly adopted. <laughs> and we're all it's uncles, I guess. We're all uncles. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> uh, Eric, yeah, hey, I'm Eric. Uh, I play Majestic Fable of the Endless Road, a simple merchant. And I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Episode 50, Simple Merchant. <laughs> Just a simple merchant! <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Jared. Uh, I am playing uh, Sigil. Uh, boy, I haven't practiced. Zest. <laughs> Sigil has to be a Gita Gale Guilty Spark. Uh, a a gnomish rogue. Um, who uh, just wants to work on ships, but now he's suspended, and just life really blows for him right now. But uh, so we press on. Uh, excited to have you guys watching. I think after forty years, it would just roll off the tongue just a little bit. <laughs> That's I, just, I have to keep it in my header so that I can remember how to spell <laughs> my own name everywhere. The to, to double check. Yeah, you know, I feel like after fifty episodes, though, like he's gonna have to say, "I'm a simple merchant with jazz hands." <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and then everything, everything, every, everything's like behind on fire. He's just like, <laughs> I'm a simple merchant. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But jumping in, everyone, uh, last time our party had finally arrived at the tidal settlement of Saltmarsh. Uh, not all of you were in the best of shape. One was unconscious, another was very close to being the same. Uh, you were greeted by uh, the human uh, herbalist of the town, uh, Ethel, who is the wife of the ship captain who picked you all up out of the drink after the explosion of some of your vessel. And uh, you were nursed back to consciousness, and you eventually found uh, places to stay. Uh, it was Amoros uh, bedded up with Sid, who had his own little apartment in town. Uh, Fable stayed with Maya and her family. Well, oh no, Indigo, you... Sorry. Yeah, it was our a mouse friend would stay with me. It's true. Yeah, sorry. I, I cheat off your names, but you don't have the names up for some of you. Uh, so uh, Monterey stayed with uh, Sid. <laughs> and after that, uh, you all agreed the next day to meet up at Maya's, get a lay of town, and sort of see what's happening. Uh, several things were discovered, uh, including Amros not being able to cross pretty much the only bridge in the town that gets across a major river without being violently ill. Uh, Sid, for not completing any of the assignments he took on the day before, has now been suspended from the Carpenter's Guild. One and a half completions. One and a half. Well, a half, no, not one. Not even one. Not, not even one. <laughs> quarter. Quarter. Quarter of a completion. Rounded to the nearest completion. Mm, that'd be down. But anyway, he is suspended... And you are all uh, have the young girl, Brooke, in tow, the stowaway from the pirate ship who you were able to rescue. Uh, she seems to be very attached to Maya, and the feeling appears to be mutual. And you heard the night before at a tavern that apparently there is a haunted house a few miles outside of town that uh, the city guard may be willing to provide a monetary reward for anyone who is able to secure it, explore it, make sure there's nothing dangerous going down. And that is about where we left off. All of you were on your way, uh, including uh, the girl, to Pool Watch Tower. This is a... Well, it was once a pretty down-and-out tower that was abandoned for quite some time, kind of like a fortified uh, tower as a lookout, made of gray stone, not in the best shape, but in recent years, since uh, the king of this kingdom has taken an interest in Saltmarsh, uh, the soldiers that he sent have revamped it and sort of taken it as their own. And you have been told that the captain of the soldiers is na named Eliander Fireborn. And so all of you stand outside. It is pretty early in the morning, maybe 8.30 or so. The mist is starting to clear away from the landscape. And you stand before this large, rather um, squat tower. You see the occasional guards uh, get going in and out and giving you kind of a look, as only two of you are familiar among their number. What would you like to do? We do have a letter of introduction. A finally you know, forged letter, letter of introduction, introduction. yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone, I, that, I, I, uh, you know, Steve forged. I mean, it looks like the real thing. So. It's a we letter of pure intent. That's what pure forged is. It's legit. He, he took the of? essence of what was communicated and just, yeah. you know, reworded it. it. Yeah, I just, just sealed it down. It's called editing, Jim. Read a book. Yeah, editing. That's true. <laughs> um, Ouch. Yeah, so. <laughs> I'm dead. And this yeah. is when rocks fall on you. <laughs> yeah. What was, the, uh, what, what was the name of the tower? I'm sorry. I was trying to take that. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sid's Hold dead watch. tower. H-O-O-L watch. <laughs> okay. Uh, so are there guards outside uh, the tower, like at the door, um, you know, or is it not, just kind of an open really. access? 
It's That's pretty right. open. There's sort of a courtyard. You see there's some training dummies, and uh, no one's practicing on them yet, but you can easily imagine that this is sort of a sparring yard for people to practice their weapon handling and all that sort of thing. I but every, it's in. still pretty early. Super confidently. I just start walking straight in. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am... Uh, uh, like, I absolutely belong there. Mm -hmm. I am also going to do that, but probably for entirely different reasons. Okay. <sighs> So, uh, Tabaxi and Mousefolk uh, just strolled in, uh, proud as can be. Uh, you're getting a few more eyebrow raises, but no one's really stopping you. I nod to them as I go in and I give them a little nod. <laughs> Anybody raises mm -hmm. an eyebrow? Uh, yeah. Just want to follow after those two. I feel like Sid and Meyer outside, like, this is the tower here, and you can come here for anything you need, going? and then turn around, and all three of them are just inside already. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just And the door behind shuts them. behind them. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Wait for me. <clears throat> very good. Oh, these repairs are coming along, coming along very nicely. Repairs? What do you mean? Oh well, th this tower has run down for quite some time. Uh, it's the king's presence. It's a good man. He has come and he is uh, obviously chasing the crime out of town and doing much repair. You know, with the the guardsmen and establishing more of uh, you know the, the military presence. What kind of crime was there before? Well, you know, the pirates and ruffians of all sorts seem to, to plague these waters. As a, a, you know, a, a marine of the Royal Navy we, was, of course, our duty to, uh, you know, scourge the waters and, and do what we could against these threats. But, uh, of course, they made their way to land at times. Hmm. I, I have known... Uh, many uh, smugglers as well. Oh, Yes, you don't want to dally with them. Indeed, sir. I have a coy look on my face as I keep walking. Uh, yeah. So where, where is this captain? So you guys all enter the building. It appears to be a bit of a... Uh, it's just some chairs set out. Uh, that's for people who are waiting. And there's a person sitting at a front desk. And it, you guys hear, before you can even reach this person, there is a... ...getting louder. And a door opens, and you see a man enter. Uh, maybe in his late 50s or so, a short-cropped uh, salt-and-pepper beard with very much the same on top, sort of indicating of a military background. Uh, wearing uh, what looks like a very nice breastplate as well as a cloak over his shoulders. And he looks at all of you. So, I don't suppose that you're the people who told all those stories of the goat last night. Yes, Indeed, so. Not like us. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Monterey! Well, that's <laughs> reassuring. Uh, sorry, are you Eliander Fireborn, the the, the uh, brave and courageous captain of the guards here? I, I am. Ah, Who might you be? I gave him the letter of introduction. We are a mercenary company, and I've heard that you have issues with a haunted house or a tower. Here is my business card, and I hand him a business card that I made last night. What does your business card say? <laughs> it says, what does, what, shit. <laughs> it says, uh, um, hmm, Fabletown Players. Uh, and <laughs> trying to wow. think. Fabletown Players, it doesn't really strike fear in the heart. Are you like an acting troupe, sir? Oh, it's, sorry, Wouldn't Fabletown you know Players of, of, it? of we Blood are and Violence. I, I forgot to add that in. Hello. The last bit is, it's, it, it changes depending on the job needs to be taken, you know, we're very versatile. Yes, this is more of a, a general, you can't, can't apply to anything. We'll pretty much do anything, uh, you know, for the law. Um, uh, haunted houses, uh, bandits. I, I, I'm very confused Pirates. by this. By this Pirates. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, put my, I put my paw on your shoulder and I go up to your, your, your uh, ear and I go, Jack. Um, let me just do the talking with this one. 
I, I know their type. We, we will get the most information if I do the talking. You should look out for... I, I have heard there's still criminal effort. You should look out for pirates. They might be sneaking about looking for us. I'm worried that those pirates from before are still sneaking, so you must keep your eye out for dangers. And then I... Oh, wait, I go. I, I just kind of, like, have a confused look on my face, and I d don't agree, but I also don't say anything. I just kind of... Mm -hmm. While that is happening, Shed, I'm, uh... Are these friends of yours? I haven't seen most of them in town before. Anyway, they're new in town, but they're a, they're a hearty bunch, and they can definitely hold their own. If there's uh, any work that needs to be done around town, we heard that he might have a bit of uh, a problem at one of the, the houses nearby. Well, I would know the name. I, think. I, don't, I don't remember the name of the haunted house. Actually, there actually isn't a name. Of course. And I'll of course switch enough. back into his voice. There actually isn't a name for that house. <laughs> But as you probably have heard in your time here, it's been empty for the past 20 years after the last occupant, an al alchemist of sorts, rather reclusive fellow, just seemed to disappear one day. But these days it seems that people have been complaining of strange lights, screams, and anyone who ventures in there comes back babbling nonsense about ghosts or monsters or... I'm not entirely sure. It's not all hogwash, but I can't really spare the men who are patrolling the streets and keeping people safe from real dangers. Hmm. Well, if you have a little coin to spare, we we're looking to, to earn a little bit just to pay for room and board, you know, the the usual amount. Um, we'd be happy to take a look at this for you and lend our services. When I tap Fable on his shoulder and whisper in, in his ear, I thought you were doing all the trapping, boys. Sid seems to be the one stepping off. Well, he knows the captain. Well, didn't you just say you get the most from you talking? Why are you being quiet? Chime in. Gives you like a strange look <laughs> as he was just about to speak. <laughs> <laughs> How much oh, is the reward for this? Oh, okay. uh, Currently, uh, what's been allotted to this is 50 gold. Hmm. Um, However, sure, do you happen to find anything? Uh, of value in there. You're welcome to it. Again, no one's been there for 20 years, so I can't promise much, but you got to get lucky. And uh, has many people be beyond the adventurers gone into there? Is it just open to the public? Well, there's not exactly any guard around there, but it has a, I'll admit, a sort of about it that's not exactly welcoming. What about the neighborhood? Uh, Seed, you and uh, Maya. What kind of neighborhood is around there? Is it opulent? Is it you, guys would, you guys would know that this uh, house is four miles out from any part of town and is isolated. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's about. Oh, let me think here. It's been a while. Four miles out. Uh, not very populated area. Quote unquote. So that was fifty gold each. No, fifty gold entirely. <laughs> and uh, what is the actual contract to just to to deal with it? So it's deal with it to just give you information. What do we actually have to do? To receive this if you all if you all are able to go through the house uh, perhaps map it out somewhat and make sure that there's no dangers for anyone who stumbles across it by accident that would be enough provide a, a realistic map and any sort of dangers therein and that will be sufficient and why hasn't the town just raised it to the ground? 
Well, it's a bit of a landmark. But also, we have other things going on. What with the, uh... Well... As someone new in town, suffice to say that there are things that are keeping me busy. If we were to clean this place out, sir, would we, uh, might, uh, you know, claim it for ourselves for the time being? Perhaps use it as a base of operations? It could be possible, but for that, you definitely need to speak to the council. Uh, Monterey Jack, That's something your service, sir. He gives you a nod, and he actually steps out behind the desk, and you hear that familiar clunking sound. And as he comes out from behind the desk, you notice that one of his legs is missing. And it, he walks with a wooden peg leg. Jesus oh, Christ. <laughs> I, I believe that. Uh, must have been a, a fine battle, sir. Uh, so I can't help but notice the leg, of course. Uh, yes, it's a pain in the hip. But it gets me from point A to point B. I was uh, recently released from my duty in the in the Royal Navy, and I must say the repairs going along the, the battlements here in the, in the town are quite impressive. Your, your men are doing great work here. <laughs> well, when I can get them out of the taverns, they certainly do a good job, but I do appreciate the compliment. Well, I am a king's man, of course, even though I am no longer a navy mouse. <laughs> You see he uh, gives you a look that kind of sizes you up. Good to know. And what about uh, you two over there? And he points to Amaros and Fable. What are you asking? Do you have any particular loyalties? From where do you hail? Who am I hiring to send into this... Adventure. Just be a traveler from far away. A little piece to myself and my friends. As I spread my hands out as these guys. Because, you know, fair weather friends, we've been through some stuff. So, yeah, they're friends. <laughs> Alright, my name be Amaros. And you, sir? I... I have been many things, but mostly a merchant and traveler, and I found myself with these fine folks and started a little bit of a mercenary company to help the good guards like you who and commanders who find themselves overworked, kind of helped fill in the gap. I see a niche there, so I hope we can offer you the assistance that you require. For he, importantly, Mark? is a simple merchant. Simple merchant. Indeed. A mercenary merchant, while it rolls off the tongue, is not exactly something you hear about every day. I found myself recently having to expand what I do normally, so... I I've acquired a lot of tricks on the road, so if I can help these fine folks, um, and you, then I'm happy to, because... What are we without law and order, am I right? Gives you a nod. And then he uh, looks behind you towards Maya. And um, what of the flash standing behind you there, Maya? This is Brooke. She's just um, been following me. I hope she's not. you're not planning to take her to this house oh no she'll be staying with my mother while we're ex all right all of you be careful and if you can get me that map and clear out that house there'll be a reward in it for you um so unless there's anything else <laughs> any other questions i have business to attend to do you have one other oh or take off. He, he, Majestic was just about to say the same thing to me, so I'll let him take over. We have, we have very, I, I put my hand around your shoulders. We have one, one in the same mind. Um, I was wondering if you had map making equipment. Uh, we did not know that was part of the job originally, so we might be underprepared for that endeavor. 
Mm-hmm. He will uh, go be- over to the desk and he'll pull out a pretty sizable scroll, maybe just under three by three feet of parchment, and roll it up and hand it to you. And please don't, weigh, please don't weigh anything. Please don't weigh anything. Please don't weigh anything. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> anything. Uh, I have ink. I have ink and I have ink and a, and, and a ink pen. I have ink and quills and scrolls too. I just want. I, want, I don't want to use my. No own one's more surprised. <laughs> jab, jab me into the into the into the. Uh, <laughs> I just give you one claw. One claw. Right. Just a squirt of blood. <laughs> <laughs> like sorry. I'm unconscious. Uh, <laughs> well, you would have saying. Uh, quill. uh quills, maybe too. He hands you like uh, a rather thin stick of charcoal that's almost like a pencil. Hmm. All right, we shall do this. We will have it done by tomorrow. Well, there's not exactly time. a time limit, but I do appreciate efficiency. Well. I've only brought- one ration, so I hope it's tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. We can just and eat Jack if we get hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh. Like, I'm I, obviously kidding. I, I knew it. Mm. Uh... <laughs> you see him actually pivot on his peg leg, doing like a, a half spin before he walks back into the office. Yes. Like a spin. Just so plant it and he, just spin it around he, really like, quick. Put his he does a little, little, little pirouette. <laughs> oh. Respect the game. Like, That's all I'm saying. His, his cloak <laughs> flings out. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, very elegant. Uh, <laughs> very flamboyant. Ma- majestic. Give, I'm gonna give him a performance check. <laughs> <laughs> no, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> so you guys uh, are left in the uh, ante room to Holwer Watchtower. Oh, I was like, gonna ooh. ask him for shit. Okay, never mind. Uh, oh, we... oh, well, what? Well, <laughs> he already did his dramatic exit. Yeah, exactly. He's, 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 dramatic exit. He sticks it. He sticks it and just does a 360 instead of a 180. Just plants it real hard and just lets him keep rotating. <laughs> he's like looking around. He's like, I, I meant to do that. <laughs> All right. Well, so we should drop the uh, drop off Brook and then head to this tower. I still think we should take the child with us. Why? <laughs> Why? I think we should perhaps do a group vote. Uh, I, it seems like we we should be leaving her. Even How the. How we ask her? She was again. To... Why are we asking a nine-year-old <laughs> child when she wants to go into danger or not? Has she not gone well for us in the past. As my state friend is really saying though, um, Maya, I think she wants to stay with you no matter what. But this might be too dangerous or too arduous. I mean, how are you going to feel if we get to a haunted house, there's actual ghosts or dangers, and the child either disappears, gets possessed, or, you know, gets wait, hurt in some way? Wait, 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 wait. We, we don't actually think there's ghosts here, right? That's just... I'm just not ghosts. sitting here denying the ability that there may or may not be ghosts. Sir, you think there's not ghosts in there? No, I do not. I think that is ridiculous. So ghosts. <laughs> I mean, it's are definitely real. bandits trying to fake, right? It's definitely bandits, not ghosts. We uh, ghosts are real. I ghosts have... are real. I have heard many stories of terrors upon the sea. Uh, all of a sudden, you guys are talking about this. Fable then looks off again and has a thousand <laughs> mile stare uh, off into the horizon of the ocean as he is like completely silent and still, and he, his eyes just go black for a second. And, uh, like, where do you think he goes? I do believe we broke him, sir. <laughs> uh, yes, ghosts, spirits. <laughs> the, 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 the dead, the drowned dead. Um, oh, yes. Uh, uh, yeah, we should have a brook. Let's go. Drone dance. How about y'all go ahead and I'll take Brooke and meet y'all at the house. Mm-hmm. The no, we should all go together. We do, there could be dangerous. Folk. Yeah, it's a few miles what out, if right? We leave so, the child and come back, and pirates have absconded with her and murdered the, the girl's whole family. Again, how would they know about the girl's family and where the child is? Just out of nowhere. Let's, let's walk. We can walk and talk. Let's go. <laughs> we, I think we are walking, talking. I, I think at this point. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, okay. So just for the future of episodes and everything, 
whenever we have these conversations, we are walking and talking. Because <laughs> okay. this, this happens time. in every D and D session. Yeah, and yeah. Ever in, so in everybody's like, so let's start walking. But we've been, we're supposed to been walking for like five ten minutes already. <laughs> this is a montage mode. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, okay, whatever the group wants to decide to do, I'm against it. Just throwing it out there. I think she'll be fine for my, for for at least a day, and then you know if we need to worry about future arrangements, we can. Um, obviously, Maya's mother was capable and raised a, a very fine uh, young woman like Maya herself, so she's more than capable, I think, of dealing with a a young girl for a day. And she has That's, my brother. Yeah, so so she's not completely alone for being a child. Your brother, he is a warrior or sorceress like you? Sorcerer like you, or...? He is a ten-year-old boy. Ah. Oh, at least they're close in the same age. I feel so much right? better about this. Let us be off to the haunted house, then. <laughs> Actually, there you well, go. You can't always the person by their age, isn't that right, Monterey? I... That's a different thing, sir. Most folk are fully mature by the age of four. He yeah, is point a sorcerer. He I believe is a sorcerer like me. He is. Okay. Uh, so he, He's kind of cantrip level, though. Yeah. Um, before we head off to the haunted house and everything, Sid, is there like a, a temple or shrine or anything here in this place, like a holy place in town? It's a great question, Omaros. There is absolutely... GM. There is a uh, temple to a uh, ocean god known as Prokhen. And uh, Sid would know it's on north side across the shark fin bridge. Never mind. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's in a very, very precarious place across a, a, a certain bridge whose name we shall not speak, uh, but there is a temple. Uh, I mean, I'm just asking because if this is true and they'd be ghosts there. I don't think from any of the stories I've heard, normal mundane, as I sort of finger the staff behind me, weaponry is going to work too well. So if someone wants to take a quick trek to the temple, maybe see if there's some um, holy water we could possibly procure. It might be a good idea, just in case the ghosts may be real. Well, it might be worth stopping by to even may perhaps get more information. Maybe someone has been sent from the temple to investigate the house before us, and they can give us a bit of insight into what we're walking into. Um, there you go. More information on the things and spirits from the great beyond. It's uh, is uh, what? How do we have to exit the town? Do we have to go through the north anyway to to leave? No, uh, you would actually be your uh, the Holworth Tower is right on the edge of the town. And then uh, Maya's is just a little bit further inland uh, on the coast. Uh, actually, to get to... You can exit anyway. You don't have to take the bridge, though, to get to the house. I feel like we should just be off. The uh, I will say the temple is not on your way. I will say that. It might be a good idea to stop, but I have to come clean. I don't know if you heard me in last night. Maya has... What up? <laughs> I might have had more magic than I originally let on. And I might be able to affect ghosts with said magic. I'm just gonna say I knew it. Anyone who proclaims <laughs> that they are but a simple merchant well, so vigorously not a simple am, merchant. You know, I did not believe that from the get-go. You say you're a simple merchant every freaking time you mention. I don't think I anyone. Heard it, but uh, recent events have transpired to awaken me to some magical potential, and um, <clears throat> you know it's very new. So I don't. You know, you, I got the camera on that island for a long time. It it was kind of messed with my mind, and uh, you know you I, I almost didn't survive. So it, it, it's I'm a lot to process right now. I read, I got off the island, thought I was saved, and then pirate attacked us, and then. There was a shark in the mouth face and just a lot of things that happened. Did you hit puberty? Is that what awakened you to your magic? No, I am much older than that. Oh. 
Okay. So you're not just a simple merchant then, sir? Well, I think my, my job, I am a simple, I, I mean, that's my job, my occupation. But there are some new things here that... <laughs> As you can and see I, by my natural one on my inside, I'm not the quickest on the update. <laughs> I'll do a presentation, just like a little glowing object. I, I forget what presentation can do. Uh, uh, a couple of sparks. smoke, a little sparks, yeah. yeah. Sparks. So you'd be a fire starter now. No, I wouldn't say fire is my thing. But anyways, I just want to assure you that I, I couldn't... I, I can contribute. I don't need my crossbow. I can contribute without... No, I, 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 I don't know much about magic, but I assume I can affect ethereal beings. Well, I'm, sh I'm sure if there is a ghost, it can't hurt us anyway. And so, it, like, you know, spirits and stuff, right? I do not know I much mean, about ghosts, I must be honest. I, I assume ghosts be part of the whole magic thing. So, I mean, if magic can affect you, maybe ghosts can too. I will roll a karna, but I am not trained. <laughs> but, but anyways, I, mean, I do not. Instead of in, I know absolutely nothing about ghosts. Okay, instead of wasting time, would one of you who is not affected by the strange bridge in town run <laughs> over to the uh, shrine of the sea god there and maybe inquire more <laughs> about spirits from the beyond, just so that we can have as much information as possible to be prepared for our journey into. A haunted house. I mean, I don't know if any of us really knows all that much about ghosts. This is why I'm saying go to the temple and find out. Yeah. yeah, I, Would yeah I could... know living here the long Oh yeah, my, uh, uh, you expect, I believe you would probably be the most likely to know the, the person who runs this temple. His name is Welgar Brinehanded. And he is an elderly humanly human male, uh, a bit dotty, but he knows his stuff. That's important about the worship of his god and that sort of thing. Uh, Maya, do you want to run over there with myself, perhaps, since we know the way and we can quickly chit chat about ghosts, or should one of us keep keep an eye on this group in town? God knows what they'd get up to without <laughs> us. Um, I, she's gonna, I need to take her to my mom. I thought we already dropped her off, I just assumed. Uh -oh. You can already have dropped her okay. off. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess we could. I will go as well, I'm interested to see. Well, someone needs to stay with the mouse man, because I don't trust him. Right, because I am not someone who's staying with the mouse man. Okay. Just not here. <laughs> Why Not someone, just, just, over. just but an animal, and I'm gonna bah <laughs> all the ground. Bah, bah. <laughs> what, what, we are all, everybody but Sid is part, is, is sentient I, animal person. No, but I'm, I'm not a person, goat. I can't sit here and watch the mouse. Just, there's a simple goat, and I'm gonna hop around. I goat, am, cat, goat. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah, why are we discussing watching the mouse, man? I am clearly the most worldly and well-traveled one here. You're absolutely right. Omros, yes. you're in charge. We'll be back in about five to ten minutes, tops. <laughs> Omros is in charge, Jack. Just do whatever he says. So. How dare! <laughs> Until you can prove you can behave yourself, you need someone to be watching over you. I am not some child that needs to be watched over. You're the size of one? Let's get going. Oof. <laughs> this... This <laughs> triton, I swear. Ouch. Enter that party splits <laughs> with, with Sid, Maya, and Fable uh, braving the shark fin bridge that has absolutely no effect on them. And eventually, traveling up the hill in Northside uh, to what is pretty much one of the highest points of Salt Marsh. On top of this uh, sort of hill is a church, rather simple, made of stone. There's an attached bell tower attached to the steeple. Uh, and out back, you can see there is a bit of a graveyard. And uh, Maya, you would guess that uh, Welgar is probably inside uh, the abbey. Uh, or check Let's head in. Do you, lady? 
uh, go ahead and find Welgar. Welgar. You open the doors, and it echoes with uh, very strong acoustics. It is just basically stone in here and the wooden benches that face what look like an altar. And you see uh, a man sweeping. He is, uh, looks to be maybe in his 70s, uh, pronounced hunch of his back as if he has spent a lot of his time just stooped over doing some activity or another. Not much hair on top of his head at this point. There is more coming out of his ears, and it is white. And he uh, wears several very heavy pendants around his neck medallions. <laughs> hey, who's, who's there? Okay. Um, it's, it's me, Maya. Who? <laughs> Me, Maya. Maya. Ma Maya. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he comes forward and he kind of feels your, oh, yeah, yeah, that's you. Yeah. Uh, what, what can I do for you today? Um, looking for Welgar? You know this is Welgar. Oh, huh. <laughs> <laughs> um... Well, me and some of my friends are going to go head up and take a look at that old haunted house on the hill. Ooh. And Ooh. we were wondering if you knew anything about it. And uh, knew about the spirits or anything. Nope. Nope. Never got up there uh, myself. It's a bit of a walk. But... Um, no, I can't say I've been up there. Uh, have you sent anybody up there? No, no one's really been hurt, so I haven't really uh, sent any of the manpower up there, or, you know, the holy power, if you want to get uh, religious. Okay, um, so we you don't know if there's any spirits up there? Oh, well, there's spirits everywhere. But if you're asking if I know of any particularly nasty characters in that region, I can't. I'm afraid I haven't been there myself. Okay. Um, hello, I, uh, Master Wilgar, I am Fable, uh, Maya's friend. Ah? I am Fable, Maya's friend! Oh. Uh, Go on. You, you spoke of spirits. Um, say that it was a bad spirit. How would you deal with said bad spirit? Oh, how, oh, how would one, how would somebody like us? Oh, well, if it was me, I'd just do... And he waves his hand, and there is this uh, bright, brilliant white fire that sort of just encompasses a pew without actually damaging it. And then the next second, it disappears. Hey. Uh, no, I can't do that. I don't think, Sid, can you do that? No, it appears, uh... Myself, nor any of my friends have the capabilities of doing that, despite what some would uh, suggest be a good idea to have a friend who could. Uh, no, no. We, we cannot. Do you have any non-magical no. means of doing it? Hmm. Well, I'm reaching here. And he will actually uh, turn around and go towards the altar. And uh, for Fable... You notice that uh, the layout of this church seems pretty basic, standard, if you will. But there is one feature that is unusual, and that is that in front of the altar itself, there appears to be a large pool of water. As you follow Welgar over to it, you see that there is no sign of animal or plant life. It looks pristine, but using your uh, sense of smell, uh, with your cat-like features, I will say you can smell that it is salt water as opposed to fresh. And uh, Welgar walks over, and he takes his time uh, getting down onto one knee, and he produces from his robes what looks like a goblet made of uh, just very gnarled wood. And he uh, dips it into the water, and he starts saying words under his breath. And you all watch as the water in the goblet starts to give off 
just the faintest bit of a glow of blue light. Hey, hey, uh, spirits won't like this very much. <laughs> Is Hanny the goblet to us or just the water? <laughs> well, he's holding out the goblet. He seems to be waiting for you to. You got a bottle? I'll take out my water skin and, like, drink some of it, pass it around, dump it out, and then fill up my water skin. Okay. You now have one uh, water skin of holy water. I do, look at the salt we... water. Wearingly. Go, go on. Do, do, do we drink this, uh, well, God, or do we throw it, or do we do we sprinkle it? Do we... What's the play here? Yeah. Well, there's a lot of things you can do with it. I wouldn't drink it. You're not used to salt water, probably. But, uh... <laughs> you can... You can, uh... Well, with your water skin, you can kind of squeeze it and do a little squirty squirt. Squirty squirt. Kind of squirt. Us... Oh, yeah. Yeah, like technical soaker. term. Well, I mean, someone would get soaked, I imagine. Like a super soaker. A holy super soaker. Nah. But anyway, you can also uh, make a circle around it. That could also, if there's any spirities, that could make it hard for him to get you. Those are the two main things I think you'd be good for. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Wolga. Do we, uh, is there like a donation pool around or anything like that? Uh, you see at the entrance, there's kind of a wooden box that has a sort of slit for what looks like maybe coins. You just give what you can. I'll drop a silver on the way out. Is that kosher? It seems fine, right? Yeah. It was pretty it good. Seem to right. stink. I don't feel any draw toward this salt water, right? There's nothing really... Roll me a charisma check. Uh, you look down into this water, and, uh, it's actually very easy to see your reflection in it. Almost mirror-like. After he takes the water in the goblet, it almost unnaturally goes still very, very quickly. And you look at yourself, and you notice that the illusion you have up of your fine clothes is not there in your reflection. The illusion, or just like I'm just not wearing clothes in the reflection. <laughs> I thought you said that you make your clothes like look nicer than they are. Oh no no no! I I have fine clothes. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah yeah sorry. Okay, in that case, you notice when you look at your reflection that your eyes are black. I'm gonna drop a gold piece into this. Okay. And with that, uh, you all leave the temple. And I assume meet up with your friends, unless there's something else you guys want to do. Before we get too far, Sid kind of looks back at the graveyard, and, and does he hear anything? Uh, you do. You hear the sounds of what sounds like a shovel digging into the earth. Hmm. Okay, that's all. <laughs> Hoping to test it on a zombie or something? <laughs> There's ghost everywhere, my friend. There's ghost everywhere. Sometimes you just have to listen. So, right. uh, the, you guys join up with the rest of your party. You are on the outskirts of Salt Marsh. Is there anything you would like to do before you set out for the house? Uh, well, I go up to Omaros. Mm -hmm. I do not have much information, but we did get this, and I hand you my water skin. Uh, Called a super soaker. <laughs> yeah, you can soak the ghosts. If they come at you, you can soak them. Holy super soaker. Pretty much all. Or you can make a circle, he said. They were fresh out of holy hand grenades. <laughs> <laughs> if only. What would this be used for? Take care for complying with me wishes. Uh, you know, I just want to be prepared as much as possible. So we are done one more idea, though, so... Someone will have to share it to me if we end up in a turkey situation. 
I mean, the best way is we enter the house, go to one of the rooms, and if we find a big, nasty dead spirit, we retreat to one of the houses that has one way in and, you know, the borderline of the threshold or whatever. This makes sense. And remember, we can keep everything that we find, so keep your eyes out. Wizards are known for having trinkets and uh, magical artifacts and just expensive tastes. They often have silks and coins and rare painting. I, I start like listing out for walking, listing off like all the things I've known from conning wizards before or from conning like... No, no there's <laughs> wizards. So I, I, I thought we were dealing with pirates and ghosts and, and whatever else. Well, this is an old wizard tower, so... Right? Right? Con right. Is it, it's an alchemist. An alchemist, we, we've, uh, we've been told two separate things. One, it might have been a wizard, uh, but more recently by the guard captain, whose word we can trust maybe a bit more that it was possibly an alchemist's place, which uh, I'm very much interested in uh, because in your time in training the um my my trainers, they they did a bit of stuff with alchemy that might be useful. And seeing as we don't have a cleric of our own to wander around with. Alchemy might be the solution, seeing as there's various substitutes you can make with uh, alchemy that might be helpful, such as the ever-present healing potion. Alchemists might be better, even. They, they often have more coinage and metals, rare metals, and gemstones, <clears throat> and I start letting, listing off other stuff that alchemists could possibly have. Perhaps it's just he empty. Just listing off do you know this? Have you learned this, or is this just from you being a simple merchant? Uh, yes, from, my, from being a merchant. You often deal with wizards and alchemists. I heard stories tell that it used to be a brothel at one point, too, so... Fingers Did crossed. God knows what we'll find over there. Yeah, there's fingers lots of stories get passed Wait, around. Perhaps, fingers crossed for what? Perhaps it's lots just... Of, a ghost <laughs> prostitute? <laughs> what do you mean? Perhaps it's just empty and there's nothing but rats in there. It's just stories oh, I've heard. Oh. Story I've heard. Oh. No, you. Oh, God. Poor. Stories I've heard. Jack, she's just messing with you. We all respect you greatly. We just like to mess with you because, you know, you're a, you're a, you're mm. such a fun guy to have around. So don't take any of this personally. Mm hmm. We shall see, sir. <laughs> but if we get very, if we get lost in there and hungry, we all we will be eating rats. <laughs> so I think you're okay with that, right? I have been at the war at war with the rat folk for many years. So you don't care less about than, eating rats then? Less than six. Well, we Unless don't. rats' years are different than human years, in terms of actual length and not. Is mouse years or like our normal years? <laughs> well, mouse years, of course. Ah. Are they one to one? I think it's I think it's forty years. It's like every season is a year, so it's like four years for every. Four to one. one. Yes. Three, six seasons. <sighs> I have okay. never felt so disrespected. I just march off towards this haunted house. <laughs> oh, poor so. little man. No love. The road to the house <laughs> winds through the rocky coastal terrain, often offering a view of the sea below. Low clouds press upon you. Occasional patches of sunlight appear out over the water. A stiff wind blows in off the waves carrying the briny stink of churning salt water. And as you round a corner and come over a hillside, the decrepit house sits on the highest ground in the area. Around it, a stone wall has crumbled in many places, exposing the interior grounds. An ornate metal gate lies open at the end of the road, swaying slightly in the wind. Wild flora grows throughout the inner yard, but all the years cannot hide the evidence of a well-tended garden that once sat here. Near the house, the rotted wooden roof of a water well rises out of the tall grass. And so, you see the house. Are we on the house map, I imagine, at this point? Uh, over. You're so taken aback well, by your description. I was listening to you. I'm sorry. Uh, the well is where we come out on the map. Uh, you guys are more towards the front. Okay. So where we are. Is oh, it's got its where, own where you are is perfectly fine. Okay. Why are you so bloodied still? <laughs> Why am I so bloodied angry. still? I would have my health back, right? The, oh, uh, yeah. You had a long rest. And again, you guys are at level two. 
Yes, oh, no. we know. <laughs> yes, it's we're reminded so, okay, quite often when we take any sort of viewers. <laughs> we take we take any sort of a blow to the face and we're unconscious. <laughs> a swift wind. No, uh, <laughs> Why am I so bloody still? I, my, my hit points are max. Uh, I think if you can oh, right click and catch up on you, sorry. You change it. Hot sauce. Just seasoning. Hot sauce, yeah, seasoning. I will, you probably need to change your life. Gotta get that marinated uh, early. You're I'll, right. Yeah, I'll yeah, stab yeah. you. Okay. Slow run. All right. So, if you guys right, are outside if... the house, uh, you see in the front is what appears to be a garden. Out back, uh, you can just see behind what looks like maybe a well. Uh, the front door is appears to be ajar. Oh, that's never what a good sign. Like hmm. Maybe we take a look around the perimeter before ducking inside, right? Why? Always best to know exactly the ins and outs of the place. Um, I would like to look around a little bit. Can I do like an investigation? Yeah. Or... Uh, sure. Which? Uh, I well, just yeah, kind of scanning. An um, yeah, I'm not looking at anything in particular. I just kind of want to look around the front of this house, see if you know mm -hmm. anything obvious, like you know lights on or anything like that, for sure. But just, um, just if anything looks out of place more than just the door being ajar, I guess. In that case, make it a perception. I mean, it's a pretty dice you got. All right. Uh, so the 16, you look around uh, the garden. From what you can tell, you recognize a few of the plants. It appears to be a vegetable garden. Uh, there's a few kind of wild growing, um, maybe cucumbers or pumpkins lying about that clearly have not been tended or harvested properly and there is a single rose bush that seems to have prize center spot of the garden that again is very overgrown uh but otherwise uh that's all you can see from the front the house is kind of blocking the view of the back or well, if you want better. to walk around yeah yeah we can see yeah, we all remember the I am yep. going um, to um, quickly switch us over uh, to uh, the map screen so the viewers at home can see what we're seeing. Oh, yes, please. Uh, you guys see that there appears to be a uh, back door uh, to this place, and it's close to a well. Okay, and so... And I will say... Do we want to start moving our tokens around uh, whichever way it is that we want to start going? Um, around this house. Uh, which direction did you guys want to go? Yeah, uh, let's actually go ahead and play it out like you guys are actually exploring. So you got, I've told you everything about the front of the house. To see more, you must move. Indeed. Okay, so Fable's yep. heading to the west, or to the east. Follow him, I suppose. I mean, I'll, I'll be behind, you know. I'm behind yeah. Monterey and Elmrose. <laughs> Uh, this is a new thing for me. <laughs> Nothing around the corner. Um, Any ghost out here, uh, please show your face. Walk up to one of these windows as we're going around. Um, can, what can I kind of see through? Sure. Inside that one. Uh, it's difficult to see. Well, maybe another perception check because the glass is caked with just dirt and... Uh, Degree. Okay. And for those of you at home, you can see some of the stuff that I can see, but that's only because I have GM access, so your surprise is there. I'm going to switch over to Twitch and see what everything's going on here. <laughs> uh, this room, this room to be, appears to be rather bare. The main uh, feature appears to be a fireplace that is completely uh, devoid of any fire. Okay. I am going to uh, continue on after my compatriots here. B before we continue, uh, my good sirs, who is drawing this map? <laughs> I oh, thought it'd be uh, Fable since he'd be a merchant and seems and seems uh, so uh, fluent in drawing up our letter of introduction. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. Well, you, you know, script is what I'm not. I'm not one for paintings or map making. I written language, yes, but if anyone Shitting else is more room. proficient with, I mean, simple shapes. Of course, I can do simple shapes. So I guess I'll start. I mean, that's all we really need is simple yeah. shapes, and then you know, you write in master bedroom, side bedroom, bathroom, things like that. Right. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, this looks like a well. This is the well right here. Oh, God, the well uh, that is not actually the well. Is does, the little blue does thing? Does anyone need oh. to use the restroom while we're here? Is that, kinda... is that a perfect... Oh yeah, that's I, an outhouse. That's what it is. As I peek into I the outhouse. <laughs> uh, roll me a Constitution saving throw. Oh God, it's oh. an old outhouse. Twenty years of outhouse. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> like a tomb but worse I'll yeah like, so monterey your your little whiskers oh. just shrivel up and curl unnaturally oh. as you just propel yourself away from this oh, I dench. dare say do not go in there all right so i put a little skull symbol where that is on the map <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shut the door real the quick and just oh. i'll mm-hmm. look down the well uh, you want me a perception Ooh, check? Whoa. Anybody else want to look down the well? Dark I mean, vision. I can. You want to? You want me to take a quick look? It's what I do. I dark, dark vision, people. I I, I, I smell the poop from I there. Will... I track is. <laughs> is it perception? It is perception. What is the highest wisdom? I'm feeling uh. No. Maybe Sid? Oh. I mean, my passive perception is 15, but I'm not going to like pile on to everyone looking if, if we've already failed to roll. So. so you guys start to look down, and the water, uh, you can hear it. You can't quite see it. And uh, just as you guys continue to look, trying to get closer, because you, you're having a real hard time of it, you hear a... And suddenly, two snakes pop out out of the well. I need oh shit! I hate snakes. Oh shit! Snakes, not snakes. <laughs> right. So let me do uh, this. Yeah. How do I get them onto the? I got you. Page. Okay. So we do that. We do that, and then we're going to grab all of these guys. Mm-hmm. And we are going to toggle combat so on the second tab on the right column yes. you'll see that we are all in combat um if you want you could go ahead and just hit roll all and it would do it for all of us or we can individually roll yeah own initiative. Um, i roll my own yeah you're too slow i'll do roll npcs okay so i think everyone should be able to themselves? grab your own uh token oh they were garbage uh what was the initiative again where was it again no. if you click the second button like the second t- tab, sorry. There's like there's like a little die by your name. Oh, that's right. In, in the sheet? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, it's not in the sheet. It's in the uh, in the tab section on the column in the right. Yeah. If you Whatever hit you the chat box, like, chat box. Oh, the chat box. box. It's the second yeah, one. It's the yellow the one with two right. swords. Yes, it's two swords yeah. that are crossed. That's mm-hmm. what that image. Thought we could do it from the sheet for some reason. No, I try. I thought so too. <laughs> okay. All right. So these snakes come out, and they are actually going to get a surprise round on you guys because you rolled so worse than their stealth. So, fight attack against uh, Fate. Combat in the foundry, I am so excited. (laughs) Oh, Jesus. Do this. Uh, So that is a... Where's the thing? Oh, I have to scroll. 21 to hit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Do you have to ask? Did he just kill me? Uh, (laughs) Yeah, I'm down. (laughs) Is that... Saving throw for the poison, maybe? There is a saving throw, yeah. Okay. (laughs) And you're dead. I would hope so. (laughs) Fable, is there anything down that well? Do you see anything at Ah! all down there? (laughs) A snake just lashes onto his neck. So, guys, we... 
so far, we're the party that likes to stick their faces in things. No Space kidding. First. Face first. It's all a strategy. We basically put our faces first to lure yeah. in. Appreciate so it. the next time, I guess it's my turn. I'm just going to stick my face right into. So what something. do I roll to? Um... Well, you're dead for the toilet. What do I? Oh, what do I roll? What saving throw am I rolling? So it's Sid's turn. Now. Constitution. Okay, that won't be good. Jesus Christ! Oh, you're fucked. All right. <laughs> Uh, Fable, you go down. down. Yeah. Alright, and the second one is going to attack Maya. Oh no. Yeah, come um, on, you go. Thank you, Jesus. That is a 10 to hit. I don't oh, think that does look at hit. the icon you get. Did you just change your hit points <laughs> and it automatically put that there? It's <laughs> <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> that emoji is wonderful. All right, Baby and with boy. that, you go. Oh, it's already Amaros' turn because I gave him a surprise round. Amaros, it is your turn. You see uh, two of these snakes. One of them is actually attached uh, to Fable's body and is now lying on top of his prone form, and the other is sort of hanging out on top of the edge of the well. What do you do? I'm gonna go ahead and strike out with a spear. Go for it. Give me a sack. Uh, that is... Oof. A nine? Why is That's your a miss. So low? Why is it a one and a two? That's the person. Oh, actually, that's right. Why is it that low? Well, spear isn't finesse. Do you, do you, are you... you may have put it. It's a, it's a it's a it's a monk weapon. Oh, they're all use. Yeah, so you should be able to use your dex. So that would be dex plus proficiency. So I'm pretty sure it's plus five. Yeah. Or is it plus six? It'd be plus five. That will it. still miss. And then as that miss, I'll go ahead and try and stomp down on it with an unarmed strike as a bonus action. Go for it. That'll 15? hit. For five mm -hmm. bludgeoning. As it gets a hoof to the back of the head. Uh, that's all right. really all I can do. All right, you stomp down the snake and it hisses angrily, getting off of Fable's body and it seeming to put its attention more on you. Uh, Sid, you're up. Um, can I can I flank the snake in any way, or because the well's there? Uh, the well makes it pretty hard, unless you want to straddle the well. Although you're too small to do that. No, I will say, about... if you want to, if you want to, you can stand on the edge of the well, no, and then you will get no, flanking. No, 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 Dex no. Checks. I've seen this but play out. My mind. I've seen this play out before. Dex I've checks. seen me go roll a natural one dex to get on the well and go straight down to the bottom of the well. It ain't happening. Nah. I will take my strike like a Just normal person. Just stick your face down there. See if they have any little babies or something. I just well, that's everything we do. Stick our face and everything. I will make a dagger uh, attack. Normal. Okay. Yep. Yep. We yep. might we might yeah. get killed by these two snakes. Oh, he's we gonna well. he stabs Fable. <laughs> no, he doesn't do that. They're also too far apart. He stabs. So. Over us. <laughs> yeah. I'll do my second attack, which doesn't get proficiency. So I think it's just a. Well, uh, it just doesn't get. You don't add your dex to your damage. But oh, so 11 miss. doesn't hit either, right? No. Taken aback so by the, the speed of the, the snake coming out. See, we're lucky mm. in my campaign just, I do crit fails. Yeah, it's just wiggling on the ground and you cannot seem to be able to predict its movement and both of your strikes oh. miss. Oh. Uh, Maya, it is your turn. Oh, I, oh I'm oh. sorry. I, in, I clicked in turn, so I won't do that anymore if you're going to rotate us through. Oh, if you guys can do that, that'd be with my turn. Yeah. yeah. If, uh, if, once you're, you, there's a little button that should pop up for the players. They can click yeah. and turn, and it'll automatically go to the next person. Oh, I'll get the smiles. Okay. I have awesome. those med, med kits. Mm -hmm. I have. I kept yes, one. you do. I kept one on me. You put the rest of them away. Right? No, <laughs> no, no, they're, they're all. They're all the, it, no, okay. So medical kit is just how much, how many uses it has. You don't need oh. to split it up. Okay. I'm gonna use kit of Fable to try okay. and, you know, kill and not die. 
Uh, is that there is, he is uh, um, uh, you do not need to roll with a oh, medicine kit. Okay. He is automatically stabilized. Okay. Um, was that an action or? That is your action. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna back away from this face. snake. Uh, don't it will get an attack of opportunity. I will stay near the snake and end my turn. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We need you conscious. Uh, Babel, you are out of uh, danger, so you do not need to roll. That brings us to Monterey. Can you not continue to roll for like one hit point? That's all, one thing I've always wondered about stabilizing someone. Because, well, that's kind of the it's kind of the offset. You get, you lose the chance of dying, but you also lose the chance of coming back up. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Okay. Twenty-five. Aha! You will get flanking. Twenty-five you get a plus two to your roll. To there, and I am going to attack this fine gentleman. Mm-hmm. 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 There. Um, let's see. So my first attack will be with the cutlass. A situational bonus plus two. Oh, we are on. not doing well. We're, we're done. That just misses. 13 misses. Okay. <laughs> um, and then I am going to uh, go ahead and try and whip this thing, I guess. Just Let's see if I can okay. give it the, the old wang dangler. Oh, boy. Don't make that weird. <laughs> Here Battle we go. Hit. Here we go. Okay, okay. Do whip damage. <laughs> do whack gangler, whatever you called it, damage. The wang dangler. Um, do <laughs> I... Yes. Ooh. Nice roll. Um, down. He is bloodied and looks very rough. Aha, they're not so tough. Finish them off, and then. Uh, oh boy, I'm twitching on the ground. <laughs> yeah. And then we are going <laughs> to end. Oh, whoops. Oh, not end combat. Wrong end. That was my fault. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh look, they're dead. You won. New guy. Highlights. Uh, is it the same? Oh, it's kind of. Yeah, it's rolling. the same. Good. Oh, is it? Uh, not started. Begin combat. Okay. That was my fault. So that was the end of my turn, so we should be at... This doesn't look right uh, on no, my this screen. Isn't right. Not for me, it's a re-roll, I think. God damn it, I'm sorry, guys. My fault. Okay. Can we re-roll? Can we edit the roll after we roll again? Because I remember mine uh, was 20. Mine yeah, was 19. Jared's was... Or, okay, was it's alright, I remember the order. I believe Ray was... Yeah, it was... Um, was correct. Everyone else is gone. Yeah. yeah. So Snake One is gonna go, and he's gonna go for Amaros. Uh, here we go. Fight. I know I wasn't first. Though. No, you were second to last, third to last. That's a 19 to hit Amaros. Roll me a Constitution saving throw, please. Ooh, good news. Uh, so you will take six points of piercing damage and seven points of poison damage. So 13 total. I mean, that save reduces nothing down. Um, You're down? down two hip, I'm down to two hit points. Okay. Well, you're not down down then. So this list uh, is snake. in uh, alphabetical order. That's presenting there. It's not actually tracking anything right up Yeah, we'll, it's okay. We'll I remember where everyone was. Okay. I'm just gonna roll these uh, right here so we can change it. Okay, I'll keep going then. Uh, snake number two is not happy with Monterey. Going to make an attack against the mouse. It's natural prey. 
Oh true. shit. Uh, that's a twenty-three. Good God. That's gonna. Hurt. I need a Constitution saving throw, Monterey. Okay, I'll fix that turn order here in a second. Oh dear God. Saving throw. Yeah. Like ten d twenties. <laughs> okay, you pass. So you're gonna take eight piercing damage and eight poison damage for sixteen total. Holy moly! That hurt. I rolled two shy of max on that. Yeah, all damage. your points. You're still standing. Insane. You're still standing after that. I am. He's a fighter. Dear God, if I take any of these hits, I'm dead. That's why you're not level one at this freaking house. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys would be, we'd have two dead party members right now. If not three. Oh, permadead. If I took yeah. 18 points of damage, I'd be probably permadead. That's almost three times what my level one was. So do you guys All right, remember Amaros, what your were? I, I know the order, don't worry. Amaros, it is your turn. Go ahead and move. Get that plus two. Mm hmm. Over here. And go ahead and stab out with the spear or the plus two. Yeah. Oh, uh, with the plus two, that'll hit. 15. Alright. Uh. No. Seven damage. Right. Uh, that's that's wrong. But how do you want to do it? I just shove her straight through, like as the snake is hissing at me, as it hisses and opens its mouth, threatening. Just shove it straight through the through the mouth, roof of the mouth. Yeah, you got a snake kebab. <laughs> nice, good job. Okay. Uh, anything else for your turn? Uh, since he's dead and I've only used five feet of movement, I'm gonna go ahead and move around my ally. Mm -hmm. To here. So I still got that plus two. And I'll lash out with another stomp of that the hook. Right. Nice. Dance on him, Amoros. Dance on him. Dance on him. <laughs> uh, yeah, Oh, oh that Jesus. is. There we go. And, and uh, uh, I do want to do this one. <laughs> All right, time to crush a skull. <laughs> they are the last cannons. Hoof to the back of the skull. And uh, as soon as I kill it, and I don't see any other danger around, right? Uh, not at the moment, no. As so it didn't but you feel George, a little woozy. Yeah, as, as I'm like woozy and I'm sort of like leaning up, uh, like I lean against the uh, sit a little bit. I look at uh, look at the rest of the parties that didn't. We just talk about pushing <laughs> our faces into places we shouldn't. <laughs> For the love of God. Uh. Right. Uh, that's the end of my turn. You're out of combat. Okay, cool. Kind of need to be. <laughs> okay. So it's gonna like slop against the well, just kind of like, dear God. Oh, that hurt <laughs> so bad. Oh. I think I need to use the outhouse now. <laughs> you, know, I, you still don't want to go in there. Just find a nice bush. Well, can uh, we go back to town and rest and come back the next day? <laughs> can we? <laughs> can we sprinkle? Some, should we sprinkle some holy water on our friend Fable? Will that make uh, him just can be can super soak him? Can we super soak him real quick to see if he comes <laughs> comes to? You guys uh, know that he will eventually wake up. Fable, can you roll me a D four, please? Well, no, oh, what? Two D four, one D four. Uh, you guys. Uh, well. Actually, what, anyone who wants to can make a medicine check on Fable. I will do it. Uh. We'll say DC 10. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, he is obviously still breathing. You bandage his wounds very quickly. You think you got most of the poison out of his system, so it's not going to have any lingering effects. You would guesstimate he's going to wake up in about two hours. Oh, shit. On his own. <laughs> so we got to We got to carry him. We're not, we're not carrying him four miles back to town. We'll just sit by this damn well for two hours if we have to to catch our breath and have a have a very no. serious discussion about sticking our head into places it does not belong. Let's let's not sit by the well. Let's, <laughs> yeah, let's maybe like move that. out. Um, maybe over here by the rock or something. I, I, the well seems the safest place to sit right now. We've killed the only thing that's coming out of it. Can you, <laughs> you the, know the, the good you know where the well is possibly bandage me? Yeah. What? You have no Do bandages? I need to make another yeah. mess for him? I mean, it won't have any effect, is the thing. Oh. It's more for yeah. RP. Let's take, a, oh. okay. take, take, a, take a brief rest. Collect okay. ourselves. Sid, real quick. Let's go over by the rock, over there by the tree. Because sure. wells are normally connected to underground water sources that things apparently can come up from, such as these giant poisonous snakes. As I kick one. I tell you what. It's it. That thing's a good four feet long. Look at it, my <laughs> fucking bullshit. <laughs> Let me. It's bigger than. Quick... It's bigger than uh, four out of five members of the party. It could Let me. Be. Let me. Because let me go take all. a quick check by the rock and make sure we're not about to get ambushed again. And then I'll. Just and then we'll make it. sure it's okay. So I will meander yeah, over. Uh huh. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, I don't like the look check. on your. Look on your fucking face. Uh, oh boy. Uh, uh, skills. Perception. Normal. Eleven. Okay. Here's fine. <laughs> it looks real clear over looks, here, Armros. Looks bring, great, guys. bring him on over. Great. I'm gonna go over and uh, actually, my uh, banded them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maya's gonna bandage them. I'll, I'll drag Fable over there with us. Okay. I'll help drag. Eventually. It's getting so dirty as you guys are just dragging me to the dirt. You Nothing. made this. You did this to down. yourself. <laughs> you did this to yourself. I, what? You, you stuck you your head in. The cardinal rule: never stick that face. I looked into a well. I didn't put it in shark <laughs> infested water. I just looked into the water. I mean, it's same. Jack, you you Jack joined the list. <laughs> Jack went into the weird fucking outhouse that could have had like a poop mimic in it or something. As, you know? as, as, as we're survive. sitting there by the rock, Sid just starts laughing to himself and he goes, Could you have imagined if the snake came out of the outhouse and bit your face <laughs> I by a poop snake? I survived my encounter with the outhouse just fine. <laughs> but we barely survived the encounter with the fucking snakes. <laughs> I'm putting that also. One on. Actually, as we sit here and I'm thinking about it, I only crushed the skull of one of these snakes. Sid, you seem to be of a roguish short with all the daggering. Do you think you could probably harvest poison from this snake? No. Not even nope. in the slightest. No I'm confident a that trade. I can cut the head off and we can keep the head, but I know mm -hmm. nothing about poison or, or extracting it or... The only Isn't... thing I have learned thus far is to not stick my head in places it does not belong. Yeah. Are you, I, I mean, I know. Oh, go ahead. What? I have yet to I... learn that one. And you're not, you are the only one who can patch people up if they get knocked unconscious, so we need you to stop sticking your head around in places near water. Um. I... Being a forest gnome, I might know something about uh, extracting poison, but I don't. Do you have an empty bottle, Omros? I have nothing to extract it in. That's right. Did we left all our stuff back? I mean, I got a cup from your mess kit. <laughs> you got a what? I got a I'll cup from, from the mess kit. Here's a cup. Yeah, I mean, it'll technically work. <laughs> I could I, I, I empty my water skin. And we could be one more water. This, <laughs> this, this is an R rated show, like 18 poison. plus, but let's, you know. We have no I, water at all. It's all filled with weird, random liquids. To be, to be fair, Omros, I don't think I have the means to extract poison at this, at this date. Um, seems more risk than reward, to be quite honest with you. I, 
Where's we could it? take this with us and perhaps Ethel uh, could uh, could extract it for us, but that's about the only the only person I know in town who has that sort of ability. Yeah, no, I, I was asking more so if you could help me do it, because again, back in my training days, there was actually quite a bit of poison harvesting from the gnome, gnomes under, in the Underdark, lots of creatures, and extracting I, poison could be useful. Uh, yeah, as, as a as a weedy forest gnome, I don't think I'd have any capacity. To, I could try to assist you, but unless you have somewhere to put it, um, it would just be poisoned out. I'm, I'm now okay with taking it back to Ethel, maybe, and getting her to do it. Plus, snake meat tastes like chicken. Yeah, that does sound delicious right now. Should we take a brief uh, respite uh, while our friend uh, recovers from his... <laughs> what, I have to? <laughs> <laughs> from his wound it's four miles back to town by the time we got to town and came back I feel like by the time we got there he would be fine to drag his body four miles so Let, let's just rest here alright let's re <laughs> rest I like to rest as well alright I'm just hissing you guys around rest in my sleep mm. you guys rest for two hours which allows enough time for Fable to come back to one whole HP well, what happened? <laughs> you died. Uh, since That's we're resting, all the rest of you, use it all of you may use hit die. Yes. Wait, I only get one. However many you like. Short rest. I yeah, did. you have to come back. You have to come back to constant this at one. We and rest another hour. Rest. <laughs> oh, I could lose it. I just stood up and I'm like, "What's happened? What time of day is it at this point?" Uh, to uh, hike four miles. Uh, maybe we'll say you got there at around eleven o'clock. So right now it's oh. about one in the afternoon. I mean, we have we have time for one more quick rest if oh, you know. What happened? What the? Where am I? Why am I covered were, in dirt? Wait, you were in the outhouse. Oh, you were on. in the outhouse, and a poop snake no, came I out from the toilet the and you snagged your neck, and you were bit by poop venom. I did Here, I'll show you a picture. I looked down the <laughs> well, and then that's, everything is black. You uh, got bit by a poisonous. A snake. No, snake. Yeah. A giant poison. Did, did we win? <laughs> barely, yeah, just, barely, quite frankly. Well, we are oh, still I alive. Feel good. So. I... <clears throat> I cough up a hairball. They seem to have come out of here. And as I kind of walk over to the uh, the well, I'm going to um, just kind of take a little peek inside. And... <laughs> Devin won't hurry. Okay. We just had I'm a not of sticking my face <laughs> <laughs> in there. I'm just kind of looking over and, you know, carefully. Well, let's see how your perception shop goes. <laughs> he just wants to make that strength based cleric that he's been talking about all day. He's just <laughs> one, one I, foot in. <laughs> I'm going to make a Goliath cleric if this guy dies. The snake just grabs him and pulls him down to the well. <laughs> 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 there goes your mouse, friend. I dodge. Um, what am I doing? Perception? Perception. <laughs> Perception. You're, you're just trying to take a look. Okay. Oh, 20. Uh, you see, uh, with the sun directly overhead, you see something glittering underneath the water. It looks like it may be silver colored. I, I dare say. Several that. somethings, in fact. Looks like there might be something at the bottom of this well. Why yeah, you snakes, you crazy that? bastard. I, I, I don't see any snakes, of course. Dive <laughs> I, 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 down, down there and see what it is. Perhaps I should go look after all. Wait, can how, we, deep can is, we... how deep is the well? How deep does yeah. the well look? I will say, uh, with your dirty 20, you would know that the dirty. well looks about... 20 feet deep before it hits water. I, I, I believe I can make the climb. Here. We have no, rope. But, Don't make the climb. Yeah, we'll throw rope over. No matter what, I'm going to walk over to him. Got rope. We're going to use it. Wait, what is... What? I, uh, I can climb. I can't get up and I sit back down. <laughs> you sit, you, back you down. sit down. You, just, you ain't uh, going nowhere right rest now. Rest yourself. About, Endless how about, fail. You know, send the one who they breathe underwater down Oh yes, I, I get up again. <laughs> you're, you're you're okay with sit down. No, you guys don't know that. I, he, he, but he's so messed up, he like doesn't realize what you're saying. Sit, he gets up, and then he's like, down. "Oh, I'm so disoriented." I don't, okay, I sit back down. I don't think it's wise to steal to send our half healer into any situation where she perhaps cannot come back from. Sid, Sid, do you not know how to use a healing kit? 
No, I don't I think I not efficiently. I don't believe I did. Everyone knows how to use a healing kit. I handed the medicine. Alright, then I put out yeah. the. I put on fire. I, I put I put right. the whole rope and hand it, hand a, an end of it to our trident who can breathe underwater, just in case you know. Uh, one tug means you wanna, you know. One tug is okay. Two tugs means you're in danger, and I'll start yanking you back up as quick as possible. Three tugs mean there is a uh, like an underground city. <laughs> <laughs> Four tugs means you're having too much fun down there. And you're able to come back. You <laughs> ran off. No, I'll just let go of the rope. I am quite injured. You do not look well, friend. Right. I, I, I you're foaming like you bit I, a frog. You're f <laughs> I feel like I should be the one going okay. down there. You I mean, can't breathe underwater, and that's pretty deep. Yes, but she makes a good point. I, I should be and the one to face injured. the danger. You are I agree. Injured. I agree. It's in the mouth. I'll, I'll, I'll whisper in Monterey's ear, That sex is- she's just as capable as you are! <laughs> what? I, I, I dare say I, I might be- uh, I, You might fine. be what? No, no, never mind, there's no winning this argument, clearly. Go <laughs> ahead and use the fish woman as bait then. I'll be so right Maya, back. how do you descend into this well? Uh, I kind of just dive we in. Broke. We no, broke. No, I, I, I was about slowly to... low. <laughs> okay. All right. Roll me yeah. an athletics check to see how well you're able to kind of spider climb your way down this well. well I was kind of just slowly float down. No, no, no. There's a drop right. before you get to No, no. It's 20 feet of a drop oh. before you hit water. Yeah. I'm worried. That's why I handed you the rope. Not, not because it was you could say. Okay. Yeah, you're able to. Going down, you feel is no problem. Going up, maybe a little bit of an issue, but you reach the water. Uh, nothing seems to happen to you once you do. It's rather cold, but you're quickly able to tell that it is fresh water. As we're kind of holding it's her down there on the rope, I'm just like, I hope we catch something good. Wondery, what is it with you and you for people as bait? She was mean to me. I'm digging. <laughs> she has been mean to me. <laughs> I mean, she's kind of been mean to everyone. Mod moderate authors are slowly cutting the rope. <laughs> come back as a cleric, Gibbs. Come back as a cleric. <laughs> Maybe in her next life she could heal us. Uh, so, my, I believe you have dark vision, correct? Yes. So I will say, uh, spinning around and looking around in all the crevices and corners, and you can actually see, because it is actually practically noon, the sun is coming directly down, giving you the best possible light, you're able to find 14 silver coins in this well. Can I roll and see if there's anything else? Or... Uh, I will save you the trouble, there is not. Okay. I will... Tug was it tug once? Just it's to up to out? you. You got you uh, got to remember. What was it? <laughs> Could have been I'm four tug times. <laughs> I say four times. <laughs> I'm gonna get one. Right. Uh, when you tug once, I'll begin to start reeling back up slowly. Okay. Right. Amros, roll me an athletics check, please. Is anyone helping him? <clears throat> Monterey was, I believe, behind him. No. Right. Oh, nope. That's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's a negative. You said as we're lowering her down, I, I say to myself, I hope we catch something. That were your exact I words. I know, I know. I'm kidding. I got an. Oh, wait, am I getting help? Am I out of advantage or no? Well, apparently you are. Uh, okay. What is your athletics check, uh, uh, Amaros? What, what's your base score? Do you remember 12? the passive help? Tw it's 12? Okay. Uh, so that's your DC. Yeah. Oh, my pa my passive my passive is yeah. thirteen. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you have to you have to meet or beat a thirteen Monterey to give him advantage. On uh, strength. Uh, athletics. Athletics. Right. 
And this is uh, your homebrew rule to kind of help people not always just getting advantage whenever they want to, you know. Uh, yes. Oh, nice. All right. Amaro's roll it again. There we Much go. Better. Oh, yeah. With the two of you together, uh, Maya comes up very easily, and you are all reunited just a little bit richer. So there's 14 gold. So silver. Like, how do we we loot? Can we have like a silver, loot silver. note or something? Uh, there should be a loot even... Did I know it? Oh, there's a party notes, and we can yeah, add them to that. You can't add no? anything. You can't add, like, as players, we can't add anything. Yeah, you can just click the little mm -hmm. edit button. I can do it right now. <clears throat> 14 silver, uh, save entry, done. Make a party loot note. You want me to just change it to loot instead of notes? No, I can actually add in a, a loot thing. It's, it's good. Just read it okay. there for now. That's fine. Well, I'll delete. I'll leave it there for now. Yeah. So can I do my short rest, I guess? Well, this, this <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> you, you may use your shit dice as you choose. Mina, can I see those coins? Uh, yeah. Do any of them look different or special? <laughs> roll me a d100. Actually, roll just dice. Is it <laughs> on the main screen? Okay, there it is. D100. Just put, just puts out the thing. You just can do roll. Dice, sure. Seventeen. Uh, nothing particularly remarkable. You, you've seen oh. all these coins pass hands within Salt Marsh in your time here. Uh, okay. I am a merchant. I perhaps have seen many coins in my day. I uh, also look at the coins. <laughs> I hear the talking coins. You. Coin you over. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you. Uh, you would have seen these before, but they're less familiar to you as you are a stranger to this land. Oh, and okay. you see that uh, the minting, there is a face of a gentleman on them. And uh, roll me a history check their uh, fable. Are you also a coin collector, my friend? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No? <laughs> you know what? On second thought, you're pretty sure this is a bearded lady. <laughs> ah, this is a bearded lady. Um, it's better a coin. Some collectors like it because it's just about one little town where they were mm -hmm. like all carnies and they settled and the bearded lady was their currency. Mm -hmm. have, you, have you experience with bearded ladies, sir? I mean, you know, on the roads, you see a lot of things. I want to try everything this, I come across, so... This was a bottle. What? Nothing? <laughs> no, I don't know. Not, not one to judge your choices, sir. Uh, Sid, you would know that this is a depiction of King Kimbertos Scotti, the king of this sort of country. Yeah, I won't say anything. It's if, it's if it's not new or special or different, I don't care. No. Oh, well... Um, if the well is this dangerous, I am a little more hesitant now to go in the house. Could be real honest, I didn't uh, didn't expect us to have this much trouble this early. Yep, let's complete our circuit of the house first, though, before we go venturing inside. Yes, yeah, so let's see what other you beasties guys, we can stay. I will, I will take the lead since I have the the most stamina, and I haven't been bitten by a, a small reptile from the from the well. Hey, we're not small, sir. Yeah. The damn you thing was like most... big as you, boy. It's four feet long. <laughs> You're talking about small. So if as you guys can... approach the backside, you see that there is a door here. This one appears to be closed, however. Uh, were, were there doors over here? Were these two doors over here? Yes. This is also a door, yes. An exterior door. Okay. Two? Oh, I think I was saying an uh, this, a window. I think this is a window over here. Okay. I don't. And that door is closed is, as well. This one. I don't think this. Oh, is I opened it. Also closed. This is a, a wood pile right here. Don't. Oh, my bad. So yeah, this is the door. My mistake. Yeah. Oh, it's the door here. Okay. Uh, and if we keep going around. Oh. Good talk. Keep going around. Keep so. going around. Oh, there's another door here. It looks like. There is another door there. Yeah, don't click on the doors. <laughs> yeah, it opened them. I found that out. Yeah, that, That's actually really cool, though. Uh, I love the foundry. 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 Anything oh, on okay. the... So uh, there's three doors. Um, well, we, we, we can see through windows, right? Did, yeah. One looks like the front one looks like an anteroom. The back one looks like just like a storage. 
at a thing or one over here? Uh, no yeah, sure. nothing. Unless we went and looked through the window. You haven't been, yeah, you haven't been impressed really by any of the things by looking at the windows, and it's also very hard to see with just the level of grime that is uh, on the panes. And this one doesn't have a window. Not there, no. We should not go in there. Not if it's I think not we there. should go to the back one, the one that has windows, because there, there's a window on this side, sir. Do you want to? I don't, uh, I don't really see much. The, but the, the door by the well, or this one here? Yes, the door by the well. We could at least see it before entering. I just want to make sure there's no snakes waiting for us. I mean, the front door is <laughs> wide open. For the rest of my life, I will be horrified yes, that there's a snake waiting at every crevice we ever <laughs> investigate. I, the, an open door in the front that just seems like a trap, or this is uh, too good to be true. Agreed. Oh, agreed. Go the back door. These snakes. These snakes are very clever. Yes, and maybe the snakes were guarding the back door, so I, I, I think we should go in the back door. That seems the most... I concur. He's very persuasive. <laughs> I am. I am. <laughs> I am. <laughs> You're right, right about that. So I guess that. I'll meander back sort. this way. Okay. All right. We just let so us you all guys go in there. not yeah. move my token. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to move my token, and it's just there. There you go. It kept saying I was colliding with the wall, but I was trying to move it to where I was. Well, there's like a cliff right there, so I think if you if you ride it through the cliff. Yes, that is a cliff right over here. Oh, it's trying oh. to the north. Permadeath. <laughs> Shrink based cleric. cleric. Shrink based cleric. Ooh. Everybody, that's just the joke of the fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tony, uh, Tony you guys. I had to go because I was like, we, we need an NPC who's a Goliath medic. That's what we need. A Goliath. <laughs> rolling at Monterey ever. And bad happens. All right, sorry. Uh, oh, it's fine. Uh, you guys all return to the scene of several of your almost deaths, oh, and shit. you face a door. It, it seems to be an empty room in here. I, I can't really see too much. Can I check the door for uh, for any sort of uh, trap or to see if it's locked? Roll well, investigation check. Ten. A ten. You kind of peek around, uh, examine the wood, jiggle the handle. The handle doesn't appear to be locked, and you don't see anything nefarious about the door itself. Shall we take a look? I mean, we either are waiting out, After going you? back home, or going in, so yes. Uh, okay. Should somebody uh, perhaps check to, you know, see if it's locked or something of that nature? It's not really... He just did. He's, uh, it's I just did. Are you drunk? Are you drunk, Mouse? <laughs> I, I, was just looking, I was just looking through this window over here, so it just caught my attention. Okay. Fable, stand back. I'm opening the door. You're directly in the line of sight of potential snakes as projectiles can shoot out of the door. The projectile snakes, sir. Do you think they're really in there? I open the door. <laughs> it opens. Pro projectile snakes? <laughs> no projectile snakes, but there is a... You need to oil the hinges. They've, they've fallen out of... Because they're in disrepair. We've been here for many years. Before we start to venture into this house... Can Sigil go and relieve himself on the back side of the house? So and who? I mean, yes. <laughs> really, Jerry needs to relieve himself, so he was hoping to take a, a momentary pause in the action. Oh, what time is it? Uh, yeah, it's close <laughs> enough to eight. Uh, before we enter the house, we will go ahead and take our break for the evening. I close the door again. All right, I'm going to go ahead and switch us on over to the beat right back screen. We'll just uh, be back here in two and two. We're going to take a quick potty break, go ahead and grab a drink, do all of that kind of stuff you want to do, and we'll be right back to continue the adventure. Thanks for joining us, guys. All right, we are back, and we are ready to explore a haunted house, I think. You guys down for that? As long no. as they're not snakes. No. Nope. Yeah, I was gonna say, no more snakes. <laughs> then we're good. I do. Aquatic creatures are gonna be the death of us. It's just a matter of time. Snakes. <laughs> Crabs. We're gonna be like, you know what? I'd like to see, what's it, 
What's in this pot, crab? Dead. <laughs> you just <laughs> choke on a claw. <laughs> yeah. All right. But the, the door in front of you lies open as Sid pushes it open with his hand, all of you being very careful to not be in line of sight of the entryway. Everybody, be careful. I'll go first. Fable's creepy Stop. board already. This, you, this is what I'm trained for. One of my, one of my flaws is I am uh, dangerously curious. You're a cat. I'm trained for this. Why don't you let me you take trained. it? Hold on, I looked at you. I thought you were a carpenter. Well, I formerly trained as a carpenter. However, I have a friend who has been teaching me how to be a little more on the sneaky side. Um, a friend. That's how I know how to use these. Is that where you so learned to, to, to cut ankles? So. That's was <laughs> that was a, a bit of a moment of weakness, but he did say, you know, if if it came down to it, in a bit in a fight, there's no such thing as fighting dirty. So that's that's what I did. I I did not know combat that well, but your proficiency with the blades seems like you've had much more than just a short time with them. I want you to well, maybe more, more than, than it armor. seems. <laughs> and I met my met my. Can you go my... Or yes, sorry. <laughs> Yes, that's right. Let's be carpenter. Go ahead. I do air quotes. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like two, pushing two o'clock in the afternoon now. As I step to the doorway, I turn around and I, this door is made of oak, and I step right in. I'll be right behind you, sir. <laughs> that, that does not disprove anything. <laughs> <laughs> right. Should just flex my carpenter's skill. Ah, uh, <laughs> is is it oak? <laughs> so what do we see as we enter into this place? So you are enter into a hallway. It is dusty, and there are very hardly any signs of life. There is dirt, and everything seems very unkept. It seems like no one has made any effort to make this place presentable in years and years and years. From what you can see, uh, there is a door uh, right on this wall. From, but otherwise, you guys don't see much else. There's a churn to your left. Are you going to should go, we be, sir? Should we be sneaking? Should we... Uh, can you sneak up on a ghost? No, no, it... I think the ghost sneaks up on you. I think that's how it's supposed to go. Perhaps we should try to be, you know, a little bit you know, quiet while we walk in. Right, I... I am... Maya kind of rolls her eyes and try and be quiet. Okay. Should I move up? Right, every, wait, but then I, every, we're like all trying to sneak. I look back at Omaros and, his, and I look down pointingly at his hooves. <laughs> Everyone who wants to, to can roll a stealth check. We're gonna have to get you some hoof socks, something that doesn't clack against the wood. Oof. And I should have been looking at my own feet, <laughs> of staring at his hooves. Are you going to move, sir? You're just gonna. What? I door. actually. Point of, point of order here, outside of this, how do you guys want to handle this? You want me to just move willy-nilly throughout the map, or do you want me to, like, like, we should it probably have some sort of common courtesy here? Well, you can uh, so move a little bit, you're kind of squishing in my, in my space here. Well, to be fair, you stepped into my escort at first. I'll move up to this door in this turn here, and I see it's a hallway, and there's more doors. There's a door behind me. There's a door going north. Because okay. I mapped it out, that is the north room. Oh, you've, you've been napping this whole time when you were unconscious Wait, with Maya, the well. Oh, you just jumped over me. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to yeah, try the well, door. So that's, why Fable's, that's why Fable's so loud. He's mapping. There's crinkles of paper oh. and just not paying attention at all to what he's doing. That's good to know. I'm going to try the door to the north. Is it trapped and or locked? Investigation, please. Okay. I'm just going to roll these willy-nilly here. If... It's a nine. Uh, it doesn't appear to be trapped, but it does seem locked. I unlocked. Do it. Do it. I'm gonna unlock. I'm gonna use my thieves tools. The best stuff. What? I unlock doors. Yes, I agree. Uh, what is that? Uh, a, it's, a, a, yeah. it's a thieves tools check. Next save. If you can. Uh, you it would be the same as you. I am professional. Unless you're expert. Are you expertise? <laughs> no, just just proficient. Then you can just do a deck save. It'll be the same thing. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, Good, because I don't know if you know throw, if you put that um, into your thing. Eleven. Uh, 
seems to be giving you some trouble. The oh, the lock is old. It's it's rusted a little bit on the inside. Should I press? We come back to it. Circle back to it later. It's right just there. Kick, we just kick it open. Just take. Don't you have your take out? Take the door off. Take the hinges off. <laughs> Are the hinges showing on this side? Uh, call odd or even. Uh, even obviously. They are not on this side. Hinges are on the other side of the door. It's not that easy. I we could try to bust it open, I but perhaps this was we your specialty, sir. It's wait, the, this is a rusted lock. This is a, this house has been abandoned for years. Can't you just like saw a little door in it or something with your I, with the woodworking hands? Can't you just it's really like, just hammer and nails? It's not a matter of. Don't have my full equipment here to, to, to do surgery on the door. It'd be much easier just to bash it open if that's what we want to do. That would be very loud, sir. So let's come back to it. here. Let's come back to it later. Oh god, my fable's like twitching from not going into that. It's some poison, <laughs> but also not being able to go into that room. <laughs> this is always <laughs> some poison. Our only option at this years. point, our only option at this point is probably to kick it open. He looks at it so hungrily. He's just looking at this door. Unless you want to try it, you see if there's a window on the north side. But, okay, we could search the rest of this house. Uh, perhaps there's a key somewhere else. Somewhere does we'll does anyone else have skill in this? No. I go to the next door. <laughs> check it as well. Investigation check. Moderate right. move forward. Maya. Maya, come Jeez, oh, Maya thank you. Me? Uh, this one, I am it appears to be untrapped <laughs> and unlocked. Okay, I'm gonna open this door. Okay, do it. I'm gonna move right here, though, in case there's projectile snakes. That's a good point. I, I projectile snakes! I don't see any snakes in there. Do you see anything from your angle, Sid? No, it looks fine. There's cobwebs in the corner. Okay, I'll go. And maybe a candelabra, I'm not quite sure. Or plates, perhaps. Okay, I'm gonna go in. Okay, I'm in. Oh. It's a so dining room. As you two, as you two enter, oh, good. I don't... Uh, at one time, a long table stood in the center of this room. Now it lies broken on the floor. A broken chair sits against the wall between the windows, and there is a heap of broken dishes in the northwest corner. It's weird that the dishes are in the northwest. What was eating in the corner? I'm gonna look Snakes, at these, probably. I'm gonna look at these dishes. So an investigation check. Sid, can you please move? Wait, I'm sorry. Here, here, here. <laughs> oh, I shut the door. Hold on. Let me open the door back up. <laughs> <laughs> I made mean, my negative uh, one doesn't Mon help. <laughs> yeah, with your investigation, you... A lot of this stuff is broken beyond repair and is just covered in this layer of grime that makes the thought of eating anything off of this crockery just repulsive to you. You don't find anything that you think is worth salvaging. Okay. Shall we press on? See, there's another is, door right here. Is this that's like a... a, a uh, oh, outside. Is that like a fireplace? Uh, let me zoom in. Ah, uh, what is that? It's probably like a kitchen. Sure, we'll say it's... A, We'll say, we'll say it's a. Yeah, I think we'll it's say a it's a counter. That's six, man. Don't stick okay. your head in it. Yeah, there's there should, it's a dining snakes. room. There should. In a dining room, there should be a fireplace in the place that's old. All right. That was not on the Going... description, so. Oh, okay. I'm going back out. I'm going to check this uh, door as well. Investigation. Uh, ladies first, please. Man, I am rolling, I'm rolling like shit tonight. It uh, does not appear to be locked, but and you don't think it's trapped. All right, prepare for projectile snakes. Are you, are you going to go, sir? No projectile snakes. There's, there's a cat. We're going to step in. Looking inside, uh, you see two large stuffed armchairs near a fireplace. The covers have both been torn, and the stuffing has been pulled out viciously. But the wooden frames are still intact, and a broken table lies on the floor near the north wall. Maya's gonna go ahead and go up here. 
No, don't in this room. Don't, do don't split the party. <laughs> don't, don't do the sorcerer. I want to check the uh, cushions for. I want to. I want to check the cushions for spare coppers or silvers. Uh, roll me an investigation check, please. What's Omar nice. doing? Um, back here, chilling. And then I would Almost like to uh, inspect this table up here. See what's going on. Okay, uh, Fable, you using your claws and whatnot, you look and go through all the fluff that just, is right, as you get out of it. <laughs> yeah, and th th a smell unleashes upon you of just mold, and it's very unpleasant. And you continue, but you do not find anything of any sort of monetary value in these cushions. I was going to ask if I could tell what destroyed the cushions, but I know the answer to that now, and it was <laughs> Fable of the Endless Majestic Road. A simple merchant. It's not a scratching post, sir. I find that highly offensive. Um, right, should we press on to the south? Is there anything... Uh, I wanted Sid, to inspect over as... here. Okay, did you roll? I have not yet. I was waiting for uh, Fable to do his stuff. Uh, would you like me to roll a perception or investigation? Investigation. Perception is just sort of getting an overview of things. When you're looking at something specific, it's investigation. Mm -hmm. All right. 14. For the 14. The table. Yeah. You look around and you see what looks like to be a number of empty bottles. The labels are peeled and very, pretty much impossible to read, but you get kind of a whiff of them. You smell them and you get uh, the scent of alcohol that is long gone bad. You think that maybe this was sort of a place where alcohol was stored. I think maybe I found something here. Does it, this booze? Uh, are any of you familiar with uh, the, like brewing or you know the creation of such libations? I'm proficient in consuming it. I don't know much about actually making it, however. That's all I got uh, for you. Yeah. Sid, you suddenly hear a skittering noise from behind you. Uh, towards the table? Or out the door? Uh, or... from the chimney, actually. Ah, nope. Mm -mm. Not doing it. Not doing it. Uh, <laughs> it's your turn to stick your oh, face on, in this. Okay, see. Yeah. If anybody is... Face, yeah. God, God damn it. Uh, I will look at Fable and Monterey, and I will say, there's something moving around in the chimney. I'm going to... God damn it. <laughs> I will... Uh, cardinal <laughs> rule. Poke it. I'm going to take a quick gander <laughs> to Stick see it. if there's okay. any. Uh, but I'm telling my friend, oh, I'm telling oh, Fable and Monterey, I know this is not a great idea, but there's something <laughs> skidding around. We got, you got you. we got you covered. Okay. Mm -hmm. If it's a snake. <clears throat> if this I'll, were Hollywood, I'll, you'd uh, say, I'll be right back. I'll knock twice <laughs> if it's a snake. If it's a, give us a code word for a snake, like a... Uh, 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 rhinoceros. If say if it's a snake, say rhinoceros. That's that's what I'll do. That's what exactly what I'll do okay. reflexively if I see a snake. Yes, yeah. Okay. Can I just like yell and so, scream if something jumps on him? That's my reaction. So Sid, uh, how are you doing this? You're coming up you're coming up to this fireplace and you saw just a second ago just a little bit of soot fall from higher up the chimney, the flu. I will say, uh... Oh, gross. I pull out my hand crossbow. What you need, boy? <laughs> There's something up the chimney. Can we take your spear and perhaps poke it? Put it under the chimney and kind of like swish it around Just and see it. if something comes out. Why do we want to be bothering things up the chimney? There's, there's something in there, sir. Just, just poke I'd rather... it. Rather. What us deal with it now, then it perhaps sneak up and deal with us later, in case Why it's something... Right in the butt? We don't want that to happen. Yeah, well, nobody wants Why to be in the butt. Why take that spear? 
Take the spear. Go for it. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Take the spear. And I mm -hmm. just, as far as I can up, and I just kind of jiggle around to see if I if anything comes loose. Roll me a dexterity check. <laughs> that, that I'm okay with. That I'm, I'm comfortable <laughs> with. It's not initiative. Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds exactly like what would happen with a guy who's proficient with dexterity and his basis in character around dexterity checks. That sounds exactly how I should roll. Um, so, uh, I got you small covered. Gnome, I got you covered. Four. The small gnome takes a fully sized spear and kind of has to find the perfect angle to get it up into this chimney, and he just starts swirling it around. And almost immediately, a huge amount of ash and soot fall on him, and it comes out into the entire room, temporarily blinding all of you. There is much coughing and rubbing of eyes, and when all the rest of you turn to look at Sid, he is covered from head to toe in black soot. Does Maya hear this? Oh, yeah. Uh, you hear their coughing, if nothing else. Maya's gonna go see what they've done. All you can see before is like you, before oh. you do, Maya. Mm -hmm. uh, Fable and Monterey, you see Sid just like brushing himself off, and you oh. see him, and suddenly there's movement. You see his hair twitch a little bit, and you Sid. notice that something moves in his hair. Snit, right on the hair. Right moves now. on his shoulder. Sir, sir. I think I, I think and, I think I killed it. No, it's in your hair. There's a rhino in your hair. Sir. <laughs> it looks like the like the you know the ashes are, are mo moving, sir. I it could like be a squirrel. I've had a squirrels a, in my hair before. It's I'm a gonna take snake. a step closer and I'm gonna like inspect this gnome. Before, as you do that, uh, roll for initiative, everyone, please. That's a bitch. Wait. All right, I will go ahead and get this set up. I mean, I do that. I can't. I can't help it guys Actually, the, the dex checks are what i do yeah they're on top of sid oh. monterey do not shoot that crossbow at my head I'm, i'm telling you I, right i've now. got you covered sir <laughs> <laughs> I'll, i'll just shoot them off of you <laughs> has everyone you know what initiative? <laughs> you know what We need it. We need <laughs> coming back. The, the most burliest cleric you've ever seen in your entire life. Take your shot. Take your take your shot, sir. <laughs> no, no. He's he's adjacent to you. It's I, even worse. I, 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 <laughs> I'll just shoot them off of you, sir. <laughs> Don't shoot adjacently. You have do it. Do we have a safe one? Right <laughs> also. No, the safe one is giraffe. Not the rhino. <laughs> Don't get that confused. Giraffe. Sir. Rhino is danger. Why did we base all of our code words off one animal kingdom? Spread them out a little bit. A platypus. Right, sh shark. Monterey, you are the first to go. You see that Sid is covered in numerous spiders, and more of them appear to be coming down the chimney. Sir, what would you yeah, like to do? You're covered in arachnids, sir. Little, little spiders. If you don't move, they they're don't. They're not little. They're the size they, of your. You're head. a threat. They're very large spiders! Kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them. <laughs> Burn them with fire! Burn me, I don't care! Kill them all! <laughs> They squirt you with the Super soaker! Squirt, super soak me! Super soak me! Please. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so they're squirting you! Right there. Jesus, take the weed! <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. What was the name of the, uh, the god they worship in the, uh, the temple? <laughs> Protus? Proton? Uh, something like that. Protus, <laughs> take the wheel! Oh, no. Procan, yeah. Pro what can? do I do here? What do I Pro do? Um, I think I th you know what to do. I think the best, we should burn them off, right? How? That's, How do we do that? <laughs> that is an option. That is a option among many. Um, I, oh my gosh, I, I, I... I'm just gonna like just clip <laughs> my hand crossbow on my uh, my little holster belt thing, and God, can I whip? I'm I'm gonna whip. Yeah. Them <laughs> I, am not, I am not gonna survive this encounter. <laughs> <I'm gonna laughs> <whip. laughs> 
<laughs> oh, you're, you're definitely dying. I've seen spiders. the end, and it is me covered in spiders, and all of my allies at level two taking shots at me. <laughs> Off of him. <laughs> right? Um, Give me an attack roll. <laughs> yes. Uh... <laughs> Should have restocked my bucket down so, here. So okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my whip and I'm just gonna like start like swiping at him like as it's still bundled. I'm not gonna have it like out and whipping at him. Um, I'm just gonna try and just okay. like start br- trying to see if I can just start brushing them off of him. In which case, I would say this is only gonna be uh, just one point of damage plus Dex will say if you hit. Okay. As opposed to one d4. Of course. What is their AC? Their AC, uh, you just meet it. Oh. Well, so you, what's your, what's your dex? Uh, my dexterity is, uh, um, it's 18, right? It's 18. All right. They are going to take five points of damage. That's a very uh, anything excellent else? blow. Um, can I do a bonus action? Like unarmed strike just to slap? Slap it one. Uh, you have a cutlass, don't you? Yeah. But no, yeah. look do at this. That. <laughs> I'm not gonna swipe at my friend. It's a slashing weapon. I mean, there is another swarm of spiders right next to you that you could take a shot at instead. Ah, there's more of them, sir. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I thought you could see them. <laughs> oh yeah, we don't see anything. Um, I can I bonus action disengage? Is that a thing I can do? No, no, only no, rogue. That's no only a rogue thing. Or monks. With That's not even a rogue thing. That is maybe a monk thing if you have key. Uh, oh yeah, monks. Yeah, yeah. Mo- okay, monks. I mean rogues as at level two. Yeah, cunning I have bonus action, action disengage. Yeah, yeah. That's no. cunning, cunning. Oh, disengage. Yes, I was thinking dodge. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I would have had to use my action to disengage, uh, which Correct. is too late for that, and I don't want opportunity. Or it's a meta game. I'm sorry. Um, I am going to um, just. Yeah, I'm gonna pull out my cutlass and just start whacking. There's a whole nother field of these bastards. Let's get fucking. Let's do this. I'm getting nuts. Are they like right here on the that? chair? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Indigo, if you can help me with the tokens when you're done with your turn. Yeah. Eleven okay. is not gonna be good. Uh, Eleven there. will just just miss. You see, you bring your cutlass down, but the scut fighters seem to anticipate your movement and all skitter out of the way before you can make contact. And some of them, in fact, start to crawl up your sword. Oh, oh, oh! It's <laughs> sir. All right, that's the end of my turn. All right. Uh, next is Amaros. You are out in the hallway, and you are hearing coughs and screams, and you see Maya looking curiously at the door. What do you do? Move out of the way. I have your spear in case you're curious. You don't get to move out of the way. Oh. Yeah, well, you can move through allies. Yeah. It's oh. difficult to I mean, she was, out, she was out of the way for me before she moved last. Yeah, moves, so. I wasn't right. Okay. Move five. Fifteen. Yep. And That's let's fine. start the stomping party. As <laughs> the the one next to Monterey, I'm gonna go attack. Sure. Uh. Sure. So there's one here, and there's one like in my square as well. On top of you, yes. Okay, yeah. All right, so yeah, the one, right. the one that's not on top of it. I'll go ahead and make unarmed okay. strike with just slashing out with the good old hooves. That's right, because someone didn't return your spear. Someone is covered in arachnids and is I feel like trying not to. Hooves are better for a spider swarm than a spear, anyways. Just defecate there yourself. Not. So. Help me! There's a scream okay. I would be doing, but I'm going to spare all of your eardrums right now. It's very <laughs> up here. Uh, so the, the aid is not going to hit. These spiders seem to be used to being stomped on and are prepared for your goatly tricks. <laughs> you know what? Used to being stomped Quietly, on? Why are we <laughs> Jesus. Because he's a, I said goatly. <laughs> not ghost. Uh, like, oh, um, ghost. I said wily goat. A little racist, oh. but whatever. As be- because I've seen the dangers of creatures we've gone over so fast, and no one really likes spiders, I'm gonna go ahead and use a bonus action. Uh, well, I'm spending a key point for fury blows, so I can make right. two two unarmed strikes. Nice. Go for and it. And proceed to try and stomp them again. So. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! 
Or That'll seven? Ooh, damage. nice damage. Nice. And for another. Not as nice. And a four. All right. Uh, you see, when with this action, you are able to crush half of the spiders in this colony. Indeed, sir. You cut out for me. Anything else? This action, what? You got half of them in the colony. Ah, uh, that's all I can do right now. All right. And this, are the spiders uh, on the initiative board uh, for you? They are. They roll okay. jack shit. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. I will, um... Okay, it's my turn. Thank you. Oh, it's, it doesn't... It just kept yelling at me until I clicked it. Um, so these... They're still up, but they seem to, like, half, be half... This group here half destroyed? Yes. Is that what you're saying? Okay. I will, um... I will take a swipe at, uh, at these... These bastards. Uh... Okay. I mean... Can I attack the ones on myself? Is that a thing I can do? Yeah, sure. Yeah, then that's what. He, yeah, Sid's gonna attack the ones on him. It's like take take the knives and start trying to like pluck them off of his own shoulders, I guess. Um, go for it. So there we go. Dagger attack, normal. Twenty four. Oh, yes, definitely. Definitely hits. I'm gonna move you so I can get you their token. Sure. Uh, six. And you do get sneak attack. Oh. Uh, what's that? A D? I don't even know how to do my own sneak attack. Is that D6? One, right? One D6. Second level. Yeah. All right. Uh, the, with that strike, you see most of them fall off of you. They are also in the less than half condition. Oof. Good job, guys. We got this. Uh, anything else, Sid? Yeah, I'm going to... I will use my bonus action to disengage. And then I will move to to the back here, kind of like screaming and rolling and padding and like just like like just you're weirded out that there are spiders all yeah. over me, and I'll just get back to the corner here, out of the way. This dirty city gnome just pushes past Omaros and Monterey and is just patting himself down as quickly as he can. I ended my turn. Yeah. <laughs> Babel, it is your turn. I don't know. Ah, uh, should I attack? Burn, burn them, sir. Burn them out. I cannot do that. Uh, burn the house down. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Kill it with fire. Right, I'll try this again. I hold my paw out, and I, I believe only, um, only Jack saw this before. But now, uh, again, I hold my paw out, and there's that little aperture of water. And out from it, as it kind of grows, there's that slurping sound again, and all this like debris and seaweed and dirt and old shells and bones and everything just starts lobbing out into a ball. But before Jack, what you saw was like ghostly. Now it has like much more of a substance to it. It's still a little bit transparent, but um, so as it's just forming, and I just throw it at one of these desperately. I'll throw it at the bloodied one. Okay, uh, so yeah. the one on the left, I mean. That yes. might might be worse than the spiders. Uh. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I forgot how to do this. Spells. Eldritch your attacks. Yeah. Jeez, there's so many windows that pop up. Normal. Mm -hmm. That's a hit. Okay. Damage. Normal. No, uh, the D6 isn't on there, so just a four. Yeah. Okay. It's still rolling. Uh, it is still up. But it is quite hurt. Just a few Brazilian spiders Brazil sticking Brazilian. to their claws. <laughs> Brazilian <laughs> wandering yep. spiders. The Brazilian wandering spiders. Yeah, the most. Just so how they ended up in. Oh, they've all had rooms. Brazilians. They're just completely hairless. They just. <laughs> no, they've all had Brazilians. Yeah. <laughs> Brazilian hairless spiders. All right, Good for that's them. All I can Good do. for them. Uh, that's all I can do. All right. Come on, we got to derail it a little uh, bit. <laughs> pass the turn. Uh, Maya, it is your turn. Okay. You are out, the only one outside of the room at this point. Yeah, so I'm going to move up. And... All you hear is Fable go, I don't <laughs> uh, Can I, I can move past. 
Uh, just you yeah. can, yes. It'll be double movement, but you just can't end in someone else's square. Right, but just know that if, even you'll still get that attack or opportunity from them because they'll still be moving through there. Right, that is true. I miss. Can she, can she see them through the doorway though? Can't she? She can see. I mean, can you just, see them? Let I me mean, look through your them. sight. You can. Okay, they will get some cover, but yeah, you. This one will get some cover. The one further away from you is just pure open game, however you want. Okay. Um, what can I do? Oh. Says the caster. Yeah. Well, I. Uh. Burn him! Burn him! <laughs> I'll do magic missile on the farthest from me. Just farthest sniping off little shots. spiders. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's all they're shooting. Okay. Give me, give me the damage. Two. Oh, do I need to roll so, Three times, I believe. I prefer to have it rolled three times myself, as opposed to multiplying it by three. Oh, yeah. I thought you were supposed to roll them individually. Yeah. People do it. DMs do it differently. Ooh, good thing you did. Uh, that is 12. That is enough. How do you want to destroy these remaining spiders? With fire. With preferably. Fire. <laughs> Light them on fire with... with so, fire. okay. Uh, with your, what does your magic missile look like, Maya? With your uh, sorcerer abilities. Um, never thought about. It. Um, I guess a, just like a blue, like blue fire, like a blue, like not okay. like just like a a lineup. Okay, so these magical missiles, you see her, you hear from the doorway, Maya start to uh, chant something, and you suddenly uh, see that her hands glow with blue light before three streaks just shoot out and hit all the remaining spiders. Even though there's more than three of them, they just sort of ricochet pinball style until every last one of them is dead. More of that, more of that, more, more to fire. Uh, and this one... Also. All right. Oh, no, never mind. They'll get an opportunity. Yeah, you want to stay where you're at, probably. I'm good. I'm right. Okay. I'll end my turn. Uh, this one gets attacked against someone. Why is it not bring up my option? Oh, there it is. Equipment. Fight. Uh, attack. It's going to go against... Uh, um. That's a dirty 20 to hit. And will it do the... Just just misses. <laughs> My so it's not god. That, it's not that much, because it's it's already bloodied. But it didn't do that in the thing. So we will say... Six. You will take... I mean, if you if you click on the, the 4d4 plus 4d plus 2d4, you can see what it rolled individually. Yeah, I can't... Not as nice as I thought it would be. We're the, the, the the two D four does six damage. Oh yeah, but I'm not sure if what because you lose some of the D fours. You don't lose all all four D four of the fours. I think it's and the yeah, you, you half should be half. Should go from four D four to two D four as normal. Yeah, it doesn't automatically do that with the swarm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. It's all good. I should have the character sheet, though. Yeah, just double click on the token. Damage. It doesn't. <clears throat> features. Spider climb bites. Okay. Here's some damage. Or 2d4. Okay. Where does extra 2d4? Oh, it rolled them both for both occasions. Yeah, I, yes. now I that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, I didn't understand what it was doing. So yeah, you will take six points of damage. Which is still not nothing for these levels. But that oh, yeah, is I have nine turn. <laughs> uh, Monterey, you are up. How dare. Um, I <laughs> am going to... Whip so it. this one here is down, and there's one Whip here. It. Whip it good. Um, I am going to uh, give it just... Just trying to like do a little fancy maneuver with my cutlass, 
<clears throat> and try and take yeah, some out. Attack roll. Dun, 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 dun. No. Yes. That, that'll hit. Seven points. How do you want to do it? Uh, yeah, so I just kind of like, just in the beginnings of my, you know, future path, um, I just like, all of a sudden, I guess like just from watching the sailors and the other Navy men fighting around me um, as I was, you know, in my lesser duties, uh, I just like instinctively like go into this flourish um, with my sword and just like, ha ha, and just da 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 da, and like take uh, the last few of them out. It was like this fancy kind of swashbuckler style. Three musketeer style? Mm hmm. Or very much the Mask of Zora where he does that shh and all of the clothes fall off. Indeed. <laughs> that's, the, that's why they're Brazilian. Because you shaved yeah. them. All their pants fall down and all they're the just clean down there. So they just get embarrassed. <laughs> oh, but you are all once more out of combat, although three of you are absolutely <sighs> filthy. I'm gonna slowly walk off to Amros and. I start cleaning myself spear. instantly, Connor. <laughs> so, what have we learned about sticking things up chimneys, huh? I think. Okay, so, any, anything with a well of chimney, anything that's long and dark or water, basically, don't stick. We stay out of the cavernous room. We don't go into it. That's what we learned. <laughs> to be fair, our face isn't anything. I, to be fair, uh. Yeah, yeah, Amros, you're right, you're right. I'm sorry, here's your spear. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it wasn't me this time. Thank you. Or I clean myself. True, it uh, wasn't you this time. But <laughs> it seems like it seems like the entire party needs to have it, it, that it's someone where everybody gets one. <laughs> next time it's over. Yeah, you're next. You're next. Time it's over. Yeah, you're next. Turn. My friend. Amros <laughs> next. Uh, does anybody else want to clean me? Uh, as, 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 as I've been cleaning yeah. myself, oh, sorry, go on. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> uh, now you guys see what, how I'm doing my magic as I'm cleaning myself. It's it's like I'm just conjuring these globs of salt water that go on me and just kind of gather all the dirt and then just fall off and disappear. I 100% thought you were just licking your licking the soot <laughs> no, off. No, I'm using like, magic. You insane! Like, can't I do. like that's what I just 100%. <laughs> 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 no, yeah. I just it's shaped just myself off. Ash and spiders eggs. <laughs> I just shaped Does anybody myself else off. want to clean me? Does it have salt water here? Um, I never went in there. Good. I'm gonna go back and down here. Are you, All right, just pointing it out, guys. I am not doing good as Amaros is limping and using the spear as a, to help him move oh, along. I, 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 no, I, are you okay, sir? I'll be oh. sticking in the back for now. This is ridiculous. There were some ferocious per attacks you took from those little spiders. Perhaps, um,. Someone even should stay, stay back with you so that you're not surprised from the rear. I got a good view. I got a good swivel. I think I'm good. But yeah, okay. I'm staying in the back. Uh, Monterey. Yes. Just as you're about to exit, you hear a clatter and something falls from the chimney and lands in the fireplace itself. Oh. <laughs> Your turn. Oh, sir, I think there might be more of them. I'm going to stick my face in there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you look, and you see what appears to be a small wooden box. About yay big. About the size of a brick or so. Interesting. I, I, I do believe I found something. Really? I'm going to reach in and uh, just kind of like gingerly with my uh, cutlass... <clears throat> I'm gonna scoop away some of the ash and dirt and stuff and uh, see if I can get a little bit closer look at this box. Is there uh, any it appears spiders to be at... jumping out at me or anything? You don't? No, you don't see any spiders. You do see a good, healthy amount of spider web, but no spiders. <coughs> I'm just gonna What's in the box? Like very gingerly reach in, and grab it, <laughs> snatch it out of there. It, it is sticky, but you have this box. It's mine. My precious. <laughs> okay. My precious. For you, it's about this big. <laughs> okay. It's my precious. 
Um, no, uh, I'm gonna um, just see if there's a, a lock, see if it's locked in any way. Uh, you try and open it, it opens uh, pretty easily, actually. I'm aim it at the gnome when I open it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 oh, no. I knew it, I knew it. they were in here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little mimic box. Um, no, I'm just gonna open it up and see what's going on in there. Uh, inside, you find three pouches. One, it has the familiar clink of money, and you open it, and you find 30 copper pieces. Oh, some coin. The others, the other two are not as familiar. You open them, and inside you see two white powders. They appear, give me an investigation check, uh, Monterey. Dude, we we found, found drugs. I found some cocaine, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they appear to be the same substance. It seems to be some sort of like a, a white powder or, or something like that. I'm not familiar. I'm, I'm not familiar with it's the It's worth when you say it might be an alchemist's house, but... It does, does it not seem to you guys that once we, we encounter a a, da a way way more dangerous than you would ever think beast, and after we slay it, we get some type of a reward? It's like the house is testing us and our abilities or, to... Or, or, you know, rewarding us for getting rid of pests. <laughs> perhaps we should That's take what this we... place over and make it our home when we're done here. I, I, I do not want to live in this, in this place. It has done nothing but try to kill us at every turn. <laughs> Well, you clear out all the creatures. We, we can investigate the powder later, but that is a good find. I'm gonna tie yeah, up the bags. We should investigate later, and then I snort something. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna tie up <laughs> the joking. bags, I'm gonna close the box, and uh, put it in my bag. Okay. Uh, you do Add. so, and the house is yours, guys. Where are you going? Should we go south. to the south? Is that Was that lock too, too troublesome for you, sir? Beyond your capabilities, or what the to south, be the, the trouble there, or the the north one? Oh yes, of course. Sir. The, yeah, it, it's the the lock is rotted, and it um uh, there's a, it's unbreakable from um, f for now. We could destroy the door probably, but the lock itself is 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 jam tight. I could perhaps try again, but I don't want to destroy my tools. Well, let, let, let us search the rest of the house. Perhaps if, if we find there's no one else here, we can break it down or we might be able to find a key. Perhaps, yes. Yeah, so I was going to say, perhaps there's a key somewhere. Let us continue the so, search. We'll lead on, Sir Fable. All, all of you enter into a musty, dirty entrance hall. To your right, there is a corridor that leads into the West Wing of the house. The walls are bare, and bits of smashed furniture lie upon the floor in this place. Ahead of you, or rather behind you, there's the corridor that leads further into the house, and there's a staircase on the eastern part of the wall uh, that goes up onto the second floor of this house, onto a balcony, that you see that uh, the railing of the staircase is broken in several places. And underneath the stairs, there is another hallway that leads to the east wing of the house. But let's go like west. Here. West first, I think. Of, of course. You lead. I'm follow I'm behind you. You, you. Uh, no, I, I can lead if you want. Well, least, I have, I have yet to take a strike from our, from our. Uh, bestial, bestial friends. I think I have more HP than you. <laughs> well, you can injure lead, lead no, if you go want. Ahead. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. You no, got you more to... HP. That's what you think. <laughs> you're a big tough. Go. You're a big, you're a big lion. I'll, I'll go you? first. Go I'll go ahead and go first, y'all. It's arguing so much, I swear. We, we, seems to be sneaky. another hallway no, full of be sneaky. We're sneaky. Be Almost. sneaky. What, what are you doing? Well, it seems so to be you one. Proceed into this hallway. I'm just you gonna. Find three doors. I'm just gonna open this door. Look in. Yeah. It is unlocked. Projectile snakes. 
Jimmy's back to Giant elephant uh, hits you. So inside <laughs> Monterey, you can tell that this room was once a library with bookshelves around Ooh. the walls. It's... Many of the shelves are broken, and in many places they have come away from the wall. There are a few shelves still intact, but they are empty. A pile of books, however, does remain in the southwest corner. Seems to be some sort of a library or a study. I'm gonna that's step inside. Stuff, yeah. that's, that's got to be good, doesn't it, Fable? Yes, sometimes books are very can be very valuable. I'm gonna step in. Even more so than coin. I'm going to investigate this over here. I showed up. Give me an investigation I check. I look back at Omar. Do you want me to stay back with you, or do you want to continue on? We should stay together. I'll be fine. We'll move forward with the boys, Poor please. Jack. What did I roll? <laughs> did not good, my friend. Not good. I you actually owe that, us uh, perhaps investigation something. points. I'm gonna look down at the floor. I guess <laughs> that's all I get. <laughs> can I? Well, you. Can what I, happens is you come over to this shelf that is empty, but you are certain that there is a secret passage here. Oh yeah. And oh, no yeah. one, anyone can <sighs> tells you will convince you otherwise. Check. So we know what's on the other side of the wall. It's it's just the entrance way. I'm sure it's. I'm sure it's here. I've seen There's this. No, be, I've uh, seen this before. No, no, like 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 just basic physics. There's no way. There's basic reality. There's no way that could be a passage. Don't it's worry. open. Clearly, there's some sort of a mystical uh, entryway where you just walk through and it takes you to like some other place. And the, the trigger, the trigger's right here. Just stop bothering me, and I'll find it. <laughs> Can I cast minor illusion and make there be like a glimmer behind one of the books? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh look there. Give me a. Uh, roll, I believe it's intelligence for your, this spell casting for you. So roll me an intelligence check to see how effective it is. Eight. So there, there's sort of like a sort of heat mirage sort of effect uh, on one of the panels, Monterey, as you look. Uh, I like immediately paw at it. What's and I'm it like, it I see him cast yeah, a spell. You see it too. Right? Is one of so you I, having I a... to myself. I as he as you touch that book. I go, I learned this recently, and I'm going to cast Silent Image and make it look like a passage is just opened up. How okay. real does Suddenly, it look? Uh, it's with a 15 his, with illusion. His, yeah. <laughs> yeah, with his spell save is 14, so you can roll an uh, investigation check if you want to. Can we pour some rain. spell slots into this delusion? Just like everyone just dogpile on this this thing here? I could cast <laughs> it, Fog Cloud and make it look like there's something. That's exactly what we should do. No, we don't should waste use, spell use slots. More, no, use more spell no, slots. Yeah, no, I, I don't waste spell slots. This is not me wasting it. <laughs> everyone so wants this, to pick uh, on the mouse. Doorway, <laughs> what does this magical doorway look like, uh, Fable? Uh, it looks like the... the, the um, the, the bookcase has like moved, opened, and there's just like this old stone arch with like a, uh, you know, like a light glimmering at the end. That's what you see, Monterey. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm giggling to say it. I, 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 look, I've discovered something here. Yeah, just, just right back here, and I run into oh, the bookcase. Oh, I run. I, yeah. I run face first Monterey into the bookcase. <laughs> runs into a wall. Oh, oh. Yeah, we have to find. You have, you have to find the right damaged. stone. This is find the right stone. <laughs> this is not like Harry Potter. Ugh. Can I? <laughs> As you feel the walls, you see, you can feel the bookcase appears to still be there. The wall, yeah, it's gone. Still it's appears gone. to be there. <sighs> So I, think, I dropped it I, immediately after you, after you I, run I, I think the ghost, the ghost seems to be having a joke on me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I think you're right. It's the ghost. That's what ghosts, <laughs> that's what ghosts do, and I slowly fist bump. <laughs> yeah, we slowly, <laughs> slightly, <laughs> slightly fist bump. Are we done messing with the little? Uh, uh, yeah, actually, I would, so I would like to cool. check. <laughs> I'd like to check the bookshelves on this side, perhaps. And uh, I'm looking at the book pile. Both of you can, anyone who wants to can roll an investigation check, but not Jack because he's already hit. Oh, uh, I just. 19. Is that still investigation okay. or is that perception? It's investigation for everyone. Okay. 
because you're looking for something specific. I'm laughing too hard. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I just can't find All right. I will say, uh, unfortunately, Fable and Maya, you are not able to find anything, any book that is actually complete enough to, like, you pick one up and it just falls apart into pages and dust in your hands. Did, however, you find two books. Uh, one of them is called The Magical Properties of Gemstones by the Archmage Penser. The second book is The Magical Properties of Herbs and Flowers by the Archmage Penser. Interesting. Of, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the, the second one is called The Magical Properties of herbs and plants and flowers sorry plants plants both by tensor mm -hmm. okay i will um i will uh i will look at fable and kind of show him what i found uh since i know he's kind of interested in these types of things and think uh, should we bring these with us or yes. do you have you have room to carry them <laughs> I, mean, I, I am. Yeah, I, am. I could perhaps carry. I perhaps could carry one, but I cannot carry two. What are they? What, are how they much? Uh, they, are they heavy? Uh, are they textbooks? That's a good question. Well, medieval books are often like like they have like wooden bricks. I uh, guess yeah, like I got rid of a book. I got a book I had in my inventory that my grand gave me. It was I, five pounds. I have. I, I have think one. that's right. Book or five pounds, but five they're pounds. Quite, they're qu they're quite, yeah, they're very valuable though. They're worth 25. Uh, well, this one, you don't know how much these are worth. <laughs> you don't. Can, I, quite can I assess their worth? I was gonna, anyway, can I try to assess their worth? <laughs> how much time does that take? Uh, roll We're me taking them. a. What, what check is that for trying to figure out how much something is? It's History? probably going to be a straight intelligence. Point. Yeah, it's just a straight. Give me an intelligence check. I'm walking out of the room. <laughs> Fuck, I, 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 I just give up. You know. I don't know. They could be valuable. They look kind of old. I mean, I mean books are, but... Just carry both of them. Sure, just pile it on. Well, I you mean... I can carry them if you need. You can I carry think... 10 pounds? Uh-huh. I have a... I, I got rid of a lot. Uh, I dumped a lot of... The... Okay, yeah. I think better safe than sorry. I don't know. I mean... I don't Give know much about these, but they, they're at least in good condition. They are in good condition, actually. All right, I will give them to Maya. Oops. No, I didn't mean to open that door. You're dead. <laughs> oh, I checked this cushion for I cut. I checked this cushion for coins. Shredding There's it like you've shredded everything so far. Cushion. God, it's not a scratching post, sir. <laughs> not scratching. There is. Okay, cushions and couches are one of the most valuable places to look for treasure. Doesn't seem right. I feel like this is just like a personal cat fetish thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and absolutely. I, I love the feel of cushions being. Uh, <laughs> He's just like, over here, just kneading at it. <laughs> like I thought you were searching. What? Oh, I am. I am. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we press forward? Two doors left in this hallway. Um. Yeah. As he is kneading at the cushions. I am going to uh, squeeze myself past the uh, Mr. Omaros here and uh, check this door. All right. I stick my face in. You look inside, and this room was once a writing room or a study. Against the wall under the windows is a large wooden writing desk, partially broken and riddled with damp rot. There are three drawers on each side of the desk and a large central drawer. The latter is closed. But all the others are open, and two of them have been broken open clearly by force. Oh, seems to be something interesting in here, compatriots. What, should we call ourselves something? Uh, Fables of Majestic Players, I believe, is something similar to our I name. I feel or like we should have, like, a, a, the, a, the, the, the business card that we gave, I believe. We've been through some fierce battles so far, and I feel like we're bonding as a team. Nature's about, nature's nemesis. Know about that? But, uh, uh, we'll we'll think of something the later. The Furious oh Five. <laughs> Fast and the Furious Five. Animal house, house. Sorry. I don't want to get sued. <laughs> Let's not call us real. <laughs> I think uh, catfish. 
mouse, goat, in, in and here, gnome. it's another study, like a library of sorts. And, uh, you might find it interesting. I'm what is go this on the wall here? Explore over here. Another fireplace uh, or a flat screen this TV? This is a perhaps? fireplace here. It looks like. This is a, this is just a picture. Oh, of what? Uh, the picture is of what appears to be a landscape. As opposed to coastal, this one is much more of a mountainous scene, kind of from a very low perspective. And looking up, you see just the silhouette of dark mountains, and behind it, stars and a full moon. That's... Once it may have been very, very beautiful, but in its current condition, it is not. You can just, you have to scrape off grime in order to even see any of the details. Hmm. Um, I, I would like to. Off the wall. Sorry. Okay, you do. Projectile snakes. <laughs> snakes to the face. There is somewhat so... clean wall behind it. Hmm. Oh. I cast minor loot. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking. Can at I? <laughs> you said there were two. Was one drawer that was not open on this desk? Uh, yes, the major, the biggest drawer is not I'm gonna Can I you this one fiddle with here. it? It appears to have a lock on it. Luckily, friends, this is my specialty. You as that. is any other dexterity based challenge that we have come across so far. Can yes. I try to? Apparently. I, that I, one. I, I, I know it seems, it seems uh, random, but this is what I'm good at. Can I try to pick the lock? <sighs> You had and a one in Jack 20 Ryan chance to be a save. loser. <laughs> oh! oh critical hit! Okay, okay. The universe <laughs> balances itself, my friends. Isn't that right, Omaros? It's all about balance. <laughs> How do you like the need that to shit? Prove yourself. Yeah, I was I you was. take out your thieves tools. And uh, you begin to fiddle with this lock on the drawer and you start to reach in with the tools, sliding it in, and suddenly you feel something kind of peculiar. Ooh. And you continue to feel, and you realize that there is a second lock attached to this first one. And so you push your things See, slightly deeper and continue to twist. <laughs> and suddenly there are two clicks as opposed to the one you expected. Or I kind of like whisper. Out. I kind of like touch touch one of my pockets and whisper, and I go, "It's one of those classic the double locks. It's a lock on top of the lock that you told me about. It's very rare." Oh yes, this Slide is from it. your training, your recent training. S training, training nonetheless. Did you did you not want to see what was inside the drawer? Oh, I am. Yes, I am. You know what? I'm going to relock it. That's what I'm going did to you? do. I'm going to go back in there, and I want to. Did you cut its ankles? I, it's metaphorically speaking, I did. Thank you for asking. Open the drawer already. Okay, oh, I open the drawer. You open the drawer, and at what you see is a rather large stack of papers, and written in common appears to be receipts and just lists of chemical ingredients and reagents. Ooh, that could be good. Man, I hope this brews up healing potion. That's what I'm shooting for right now. Uh. And Mm -hmm. No, no. Go by all means. Yeah, so as you lift them up to examine them, you notice that the bottom uh, portion of this drawer, the wooden bottom, kind of shakes a little when you disturb it. Oh. And it seems to be loose. Seems normal. I'll slide the drawer back in and never say anything to my compatriots. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'll, of course I'll... Can I check this team? Can I check? Uh, I would like to check to make sure that there's not like a uh, a sort of like trap to this this hidden bottom. If I notice that uh, it is you... in fact a false bottom. It is a false bottom. With your natural 20, you don't need to do any checks. You've already disarmed okay. it. That was the second Perfect. lock. Oh, shit. God, it was... <laughs> I checked out snake trap. I fucking told you guys. Okay, so then I will uh, unlock the hit. the second, or I'll open up the, the false bottom then, if it's, it seems safe. Yep, you lift it up, and you see beneath it is a uh, small leather satchel, maybe the size of a uh, hot pocket, shall we say. 
could you really go for a hot pocket? Oh, can I hungry, yeah. <laughs> My grand makes the best hot pocket. She gets just the mushrooms and a little bit, a little bit of spinach. Um, can I investigate the the leather pouch? You is it locked? Is... Insider... The leather but... pouch is not locked, as it turns out. I just, you know what? I this is. I'm just kind of in the mood right now. I'm just unlocking everything. I've unlocked <laughs> people's open pants. Pouch. <laughs> What's in the pouch? You're getting me dead. <laughs> I want to investigate this yeah, ask I, over here at some point. <laughs> uh, you find two uh, rather large vials, maybe five inches long and uh, yay thick or so, and each of them contains a uh, very dark red liquid. Can we anyone try to identify said liquid? Familiar, fabled. Do you know what this is? Um, would I know what it is, knowing with the, all the brewing of various things the uh, the you, gnomish monks you, did? Gnomish monks? Is sure. uh, a gnomish me, monks, good sir? Throw me a nature check and I'll give you advantage for this one. Cool. Uh, skills, nature... Holy shnikes. Why did you keep lowest one? I'm very confused. Yeah, you got a four. You, you rolled a disadvantage. That's why. You rolled a disadvantage. Yeah, I, I don't know uh, why four. I rolled a disadvantage. I didn't click any disadvantage. I, I wasn't an option to give me disadvantage. <laughs> well, either way, you rolled high enough. Uh, you realize that these are potions of healing. Yeah. You have two of yeah. them. So you know, before when I mentioned how alchemy could be really useful for the aforementioned no. healing potions. Don't remember you saying yes, that at all, did. to be quite honest. Really? Honestly? The, the entire poison uh, Okay, they're healing potions, you I, bastard. Okay. <laughs> would, you, would you like to take one now? You, you seem you very bad. <laughs> quite injured. I think that no. now is the time to take Dusky. No. no. We save them. No. We, we save no. them until someone goes okay. down in unconsciousness. Okay. And then we force feed them the potion and you... to bring them back. Sh shove it in the... Is, sh is it through the Sounds... mouth or through the you nose? You drink the potions. Really you drink How potions. Do... Is this like a okay. suppository? That's good. good. That's good to know. I don't... I, I believe that's how they're used in the gnomish culture. You just kind of... It's like a suppository, it right? That's that's it's that's true. It, it, put it in there and squeeze the bottom. Absorb. <laughs> you all have the healing potion. Go right into the bloodstream you do it that way. It's, no, I'm done. No, I'm that's the quickest Go, effect. I close the door on you all. <laughs> who, who, who would like to take these potions? Uh, uh, give one to on, Omros. Omros, take one just in case. I then, clearly uh, need one because I'm in the front and I what, die all the time. Well, we, we, <laughs> ideally, we'd like the person who does not die the, the most often to be able to administer Amaya. them in the future. Me. Yeah, well, she's one actually. I might need one in the moment, like the heat of battle. Yeah, the so we. Give one to Maya, and then we should give one. Win. All right. I'll take the other one since I am the most. Uh, I don't know. I I can that. I can navigate the battlefield quickly <laughs> without being struck. You're the only well, one that hasn't long been rest hurt. Or short rest? Is it short rest or long rest? I think it's long rest for. Short rest. Nope, it's short rest. For really? For what? Yeah, for second wind. Oh, Fighters yeah. have unlimited healing. Unlimited. Okay, so my I give one potion to Maya. Uh -huh. And then I will keep the other. Does someone else want to be responsible for? You can keep. Uh, I am one. clearly just, the just most responsible it. member of this party. That is such. A right, because that bookcase was real, real. <laughs> yes. What? That well, the ghost is having its way with us. Clearly, I also it's have beginning the least to play amount tricks on us. Yes, it's the ghost. How, how sturdy are you, my good friend Monterey? Uh, just... I am. I am, but uh, mighty for a mouthful. Uh, just pass out the potions and let's continue. We never, haven't even. Can I investigate this table? <laughs> yeah, sure. Give me an investigation check. Hold on to it for now, I guess. Oh, dear God. Why would Potion you of regular intelligence. <laughs> Thanks. So, Monterey, you begin to look at this table and you Spiders. hear underneath it. And suddenly you hear a creak, and the uh, legs of the table just collapse, and you just get bonked on the back of the head with its table. Oh, that was unnecessary. 
You should have <sighs> known better. It's an old table. What did you think? It was gonna be sturdy? Oh, this place grows worse and worse by the moment. There's one should more we... door. Press forward. Ah, <clears throat> uh, yes, one more door. Wait, is there a second story to this place? There is. We haven't even got up there yet. More. We, we still have one more door in another wing. <laughs> and we might, for, for we're already door, here. We, we might as well it. check it. And I'm gonna open the door. I mean, let's be honest. The most valuable part is behind the locked door because most of this has been picked clean by the people that have come. Well, we we got he potions of healing. We've got some papers. Uh, I'll actually, add, I'm oh, gonna papers. add papers of papers of mystery to our party notes here. Can I? Can you show me the papers? Of course I show you the papers. I trust you. You're just a simple merchant. Why wouldn't I show you all the stuff that we find? Oh, I don't know. If you can list them as a list of alchemical... List alchemical of, papers? Um, re, of reagents. List of reagents. Just so I know what the heck they are as opposed to sure. mysterious papers, which I will never sure. remember where they came from. Did Monterey just pocket all that copper and the powder? I put the chest in my uh, in my backpack, but you guys also need to do that. So. Okay. Well, are you keeping? Are you, so, you, you keep up with it though? You've added to the inventory for you. I did. I didn't put it in party loot, so I didn't. I'll do that here in a moment. Are we? So this room okay. appears to be bare. Uh, in this far corner over here, there just seems to be a big pile of junk. Okay. But that is really about it. Mm, there is a door it. over here. Oh, which should oh. be open. <laughs> Don't click it. Can I, uh... There's a, a rug here? Yeah. Uh, that is a rug, yes. Is there anything under it? Uh, Indigo, did it happen? Yes. Okay. I'm out, Sid's out. He, he, takes, he bolts. Suddenly, <laughs> a magic mouth is triggered as Sid steps in this I need all of you to roll me a wisdom si Actually, no, that's where we're gonna end today. Oh. Do we need to all of you hear this? Wait. We'll do the roll at the beginning of next week. That's how we'll start. Okay, so as Sid steps, I love the foundry so much. Uh, so <laughs> as you stepped in that location, it did it automatically uh, trigger a magic mouth, and it had the audio. To be fair, didn't step there. I just whipped the rug out of the way, which I was pretty sure Fable was going to do anyway. I so. know. Right where What's you are the is the spot. Yeah. Well, it's actually all the way around. So. Yeah. Well, you know, it's cool. Within five feet of the rug. Bet you wish you took that potion of healing now, don't you, Amoros? But wasn't that cool when the audio played? Yeah. That was actually pretty cool. Yeah. That was neat. Oh, I didn't hear. It said, "Welcome to my house." Welcome to my home. <laughs> Seems scandalous. Yeah. Scandalous. You have to watch the stream, which you can find on YouTube. What that guy uh, said. So, yeah. That's true. Um, Thanks, guys, for uh, joining us for tonight for our adventure in Salt Marsh. I am Connor. I am the GM. All of these are my fabulous players. Uh, and we are on Kronos World. Uh, we are. Uh, Indigo, why don't you tell us what other shows they can watch on this channel? They can definitely catch my show on the GM of the Sunday show, The uh, Fireside Tales. You can find that at the same time at 6 o'clock on this channel. Um, again, thank you to Limithron for uh, being our first sponsor. He's working up a, a little surprise for us, and I'm super stoked to uh, put that into play as we get going here. And, um, yeah, I had a great time tonight. Thank you to Connor uh, for running uh, the campaign. I had a great time tonight. That was a lot of fun. Can't wait to go Except in. Except your and... stupid snakes. <laughs> the, the snakes were, yeah, you know, dice, just a little surprise. Dice were rough. A little, the <laughs> dice were rough tonight. You were right about that. Um, but thanks for hanging out and watching and uh, hanging out with us. Thanks for the bits that were donated earlier from uh, that person over there. <laughs> you, you're super awesome. And uh, for everybody out, follows, any of that, we definitely appreciate any support that we get around here. Uh, go check out YouTube. This will be up uh, sometime tomorrow, and I'll be working uh, hard on that first thing in the morning. And, uh, yeah, we'll get that posted. Go give it a like and subscribe to YouTube, all that good stuff. We appreciate it. Uh, everybody else, have a great night. Players, thank you so much for showing up and, and putting the time into this thing. I definitely uh, have fun playing with you guys. This, this team is starting to, to gel and, and starting to get really fun. So. I'm stoked. This is awesome. Horns up for everybody. Love you guys. And uh, everybody out there, please come back and see us again. Thanks for the cheer. Awesome anonymous cheer. You're awesome. <laughs> and you're anonymous. <laughs> and you cheered. So there you go. You live it, you're living up full circle. 
Uh, come back and see us again on Sunday, 6 o'clock. We love you guys. We'll see you soon. Have a good night, everyone. Have a good night. Good night. Good night.